What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here. The champ is here. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody, man. Episode 121. God damn, this is this shit funny, man, because we got motherfucking producer of the year, motherfucking a podcast host, a motherfucking podcast creator, motherfucking Arthur, <laughs> motherfucking writer, uh, a former be- uh, football player. I'm about to say Hooper. <laughs> I used to hoop. I used to hoop. So I'm fucking around. Hey, and this nigga is the producer of this motherfucking show, man. He usually a nigga behind the motherfucking board, For sure. but that nigga stepped on this side to do the motherfucking show, man. Got a motherfucker, Mr. Quincy L. Lewis. <laughs> what, up, my nigga? what up, dog? Mr. Quincy hey, L. Lewis. This, this is the first nigga I ever interviewed that I know everything about, nigga. No, so first of all, it's episode 121. Yeah. It took 121 <laughs> fucking episodes to finally get my shit. But thanks anyway, nigga. Hey, I'm definitely about to play this shit in the lottery, nigga. What, 121? 121, nigga, play that bitch 1210. Hold on, 1021. I'm playing that shit. I'm playing that shit. I'm playing that shit. Hell yeah, dog. Damn, if we hit that motherfucker, we're going to have a new studio. That'd be a good ass motherfucking Memorial Day weekend. Dog, for sure. Shit, speaking of, nigga, it's like the motherfucking. Oh, yeah, before we get to that shit, you know what I'm saying? You already know what it is, nigga. Yeah. Salute me while I'm here. This nigga know every question I'm about to ask, so I'm going to try to just. I don't know all them bitches. I, I be knowing the questions, but I don't really yeah. be having no answers to none of that shit, because I actually be working on the other side of the board. So. For sure. And yeah. that nigga be doing other shit, nigga. I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, nigga, you already know, man. Salute, man. You got to throw a, a shout out to somebody who wouldn't expect it. It can't be the normal niggas in your circle. Gotta be somebody oh, damn, else. it can't be niggas in my circle. Fuck. Yeah, it can't be motherfucking. We can't be parents. Can't be motherfucking little young lady you kicking it with. No kids and shit, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that good shit. For Gotta sure. be somebody who wouldn't expect the motherfucking flowers, man. It could be multiple people. For sure. But one person. All right, well, on that tip, dog, like for real, for real, outside my circle, dog, I want to give uh, roses to uh, my, and this is a throwback. This is my advisor from Adrian College, dog, my journalism oh, journalism advisor. Shout out to Dr. Renner, dog. <laughs> Dr. Renner looked like uh, <laughs> the nigga that played Freddy Krueger and shit. Duh. Robert England and shit. He <laughs> really <laughs> looked like Robert England. But for real, though, shout out to dog because he the one who, who, who allowed me to find my niche in journalism like in real life. When I went to Adrian College, I had just left a- I had just left Eastern trying to do uh electrical engineering. Yeah. And then I found out that I, I wasn't good at math, so I couldn't do that shit. <laughs> so then one day like I don't even know how it happened. I I, I had a journal a journalism class cuz it was a elective mm-hmm. and he was teaching a journalism class and uh like I found my passion in that bitch, dog. And then yeah. what was crazy about it like I did that shit and then he allowed me the next semester to actually teach his journalism one class. Oh, so on my days off, I would come in that bitch and, and show the journalism one class what I learned last yeah, year. Yeah, for, okay, damn, so you came back. Yeah, dog yeah. came back and did that head. shit. It was dope as hell. Dog, dog gave me an opportunity, even though I, I did not fit the mold at Adrian College or especially in journalism, nigga. Yeah. So shout out to dog. And then, what, my third year in, before I went to my internship, I took summer classes and I stayed at Dog Crib all summer. Oh shit! Me, yeah. Shit, low key. Me and uh, me and Ryan. You still, you still uh, keep in touch with it? For sure, for sure. So shout out to uh, Dr. Renner, dog. That's my uh, advisor from Adrian College. Um, he been moving around now. He retired now, so he's just kind of out yeah. doing, you know, doing white yeah, people so shit. So he, he like the nigga who kind of like put the spark in you, nigga, like to believe in this shit, right? Facts, a little bit. Facts, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, for sure, give him his flowers, no see, doubt. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that salute, nigga. Yeah, I see, I, I'm telling you, I, I got <laughs> shit. I be knowing the questions and shit. You yeah. think you know me? Yeah, you don't yeah, know yeah. me, cuz no, but this nigga. Dr. Reynolds, nigga. Yeah, so, Renner. So, so, oh, Renner. Okay. Yeah. I said Reynolds. Yeah, Reynolds was my uh, coach. Rest in peace, dog. Yeah, rest in peace, King High School. Coach. Coach. Reynolds, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. But shit, man, you already know what it is, dog. <laughs> How you grew up? Who was in the house, dog? No, fuck that, nigga. No, fuck that, nigga. It's 2022, nigga. Uh-huh. You been doing a lot of shit. I always tell you this shit on the phone, nigga. We talking shit, dog. This nigga like a Jamaican, dog. For sure. This nigga do everything, nigga. So just like, like what's some shit this year, dog, that you, I don't know, that surprised you maybe about yourself or like, some shit that you you got going on, dog. That you know, what I'm saying that you built off from last year. Yeah, I'm a. Well, this is the first thing. Like I've been building off of shit, like like every year and shit. I'm building off of something. Um, this year, like I mentioned this on uh on the last podcast I did. It's the uh f- shit. What the yeah, fuck? This nigga fucked up. Yeah, what's the name of the goddamn Winter podcast? Circles. Yes, the Winter Circle <laughs> podcast. Goddamn, <laughs> my bad. So yeah, shout out to uh Sam J and uh Easy E Man. You yeah. know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, I said this shit on there, but uh, June 11th, I'm actually been elected to be a speaker 
um, at the uh, what is it, uh, Pod Stock Pod Festival yeah. uh, in Trenton, New Jersey. So I'm building off of like the the people I met at the at the uh, shit at the what was the name of that shit? Another podcast festival I yeah, went to last Tennessee, year, right? Pod, yeah, Pod Movement. Uh, so some people that I met there, I ended up connecting with, and they got me on as a panelist in Jersey this year at the uh, podcast festival. So, like, shit, I'm building off of that shit. So that was kind of a surprise because Dog hit me out of nowhere. Like, I met dude at the uh, at the shout out to my man Will. I met him at the conference last year. He hit me up, same shit you were saying. Like, Dog, I see you doing this, doing that. Like, you doing your thing. Like, I want to see if you can come in and you know be a speaker. At, at our conference or whatever so that's how that happened so i yeah. built off of my experience from last year but i'm gonna tell you what was hella surprising about this year is uh i'm working on i'm working on doing a documentary oh, yeah, for yeah, sleep yeah. apnea and like dog what was surprising for me and people told me i should have been surprised but was like Not all the help yeah. like when i asked people to to contribute you know to help me get studio equipment and shit like that yeah. like it was an outpour yeah, like yeah. niggas really fuck with no. me i was like damn because i think when that was surprising yeah, they can see you out here working dog so they don't mind putting a couple dollars behind it. exactly and i appreciate that shit dog and like i said we got i got most of the studio equipment that i need uh we'll be starting like with interviews and everything soon so you'll be able to see these uh the you know the fruits of my labor coming yeah. out pretty soon here. And you got a name for it? Yeah. Um yeah, but I don't wanna say okay, it. Okay, okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I wanna say it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I definitely do though. Ask me again after we get off camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah. kinda dope too actually. Yeah, yeah. so you go, you say you're gonna start shooting that shit soon? Yeah, for sure. Because I need to be having those GoFundMe and you be like, what the, what the fuck did he do he do with the money? Nigga? Yeah, everybody like, out here like Dr. Umar, where the fuck is the school yeah. at? Yeah, I, I do see like, you got a whole bunch of shit set up, so yeah, I, I already know niggas about to be ready for that motherfucking shit. For sure. you had that shit, this nigga was you know, you was you was bad, dog. You was doing bad, dog. So, <laughs> before we get to the shit, dog, tell niggas why you, you know what I'm saying, what motivates you to even do this sleep apnea documentary. Dog, for sure. So, back in the day, uh, and I ain't going to say back in the day, not not that long ago, probably 2010, maybe. It was a long um, time. Yeah, it was a long yeah, time. Yeah, 12 years. Um, yeah, I had a, I ended up having a, like a leg ulcer, uh, which is like a sore, basically, that, that won't close. So, it was on my leg. And uh, because of that, I had started going to the doctor to try to get that shit figured out. But, like, I couldn't sleep. Yeah. So, like, I'm getting to the crib. Like, I couldn't sleep. So, I'm like, damn, maybe it's, it's this shit because I'm in pain and shit like that. So, I end up to the point where, like, I was trying to go to sleep and I couldn't. Like, I don't know if you ever experienced this shit, but you ever, you ever really thought about how you breathe? Like, your body just do it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, think about if it don't yeah. do it on its own. Yeah, you, you go fucking panic. Yeah, you struggling. You struggling, you, yeah, struggle, you go yeah. panic. And that's what was happening with me. I'm like, fuck. So I, I used to just sit up. So I would sit up until like I basically would pass out. Yeah, yeah. Because like I, I couldn't make myself go to sleep. Damn. So eventually, um, this is <laughs> the funny shit. Like, I, I tell the story it's sometimes. Funny enough, uh... Some people know the story. Some people don't. But um, how I ended up getting diagnosed was I was uh, I was at my OG crib. I was, uh, I was asleep. And I woke up because... <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely putting it out there, though. I, I woke up because my balls was huge. Nigga, I'm talking about balls was like <laughs> this motherfucking thing, like some grapefruit type shit. Yeah, nigga. So, like, I couldn't close my legs, nigga. So, I come downstairs. I'm like, I'm telling my OG, like, dog, I think I, I got to go to the to the doctor. So, she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, uh, I, my balls big. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you. Like, they way bigger than they should be. Duh, elephant testicles. Duh, for real. So I get in the car. My old man at the time had a PT Cruiser. So I'm literally in the back with my legs spread open like a pregnant bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Don't do it. Shit, that's so big. You might about to burst on me. No, for real. We got to that motherfucking dog. They threw me on the motherfucking table or whatever. They put the little catheter on me and shit. And dog, like, was, uh, uh, whatever you call it, the doctors, uh, the, like, he was in, uh, before they become a doctor and shit, a resident. Okay, so yeah, a resident. He was a resident yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. So my man was like, oh, shit, I already know what's wrong with you, dog. You're retaining water and shit. He's like, word? Yeah. He was like, yeah. He was like, you got, he's like, he asked me, do I have sleep apnea? I'm like, what the fuck is that? I didn't yeah. even know what it was. Yeah. So then they pumped all the shit out of me and shit, and then they uh, end up scheduling me for a sleep test. So after they pumped all the shit out of me, I got out when they took the sleep test, and that's when I found out they got sleep apnea. Oh, They've been on wild, that motherfucking bro. machine ever now, since. Now, nigga, like I said, nigga, all right, for y'all, I don't think I said this nigga, my uncle as well, as the producer and shit. Yeah. But, dog, like, we always joke about that shit, like, nigga, because we could joke about it now, nigga. Because I'm alive. Yeah, but, nigga, like, on some real shit, nigga, what you, during that time, what you think, like, nigga, this shit might be over for my ass, dog, like. I didn't. I you didn't, didn't. And, oh, and quite honestly I think that's what Allowed me to pull through that shit Like yeah. I I never let that shit Cross my mind Yeah And what The thing about it is that Like I had retained so much water That like physically Um I was diagnosed with Uh Uh what you call that shit 
Um, like a, some heart shit. Uh, psh, I can't even think of the name of the shit now, though. But yeah. it's a uh, shit. I wish I could think of the name because yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I clinically got diagnosed with like some clogged artery, uh, some clogged heart valve type shit. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like some, some fucked up fucked shit. Up, man. Like to the point where it's still now, some of my EKG readings come out. Like I have a history of heart attacks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Congestive heart failure. Okay, that's okay. what it was. So, so I was diagnosed with congestive heart heart failure because all the fluid had backed up and shit and fucked up my heart. Damn, that's yeah. It. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's crazy. Like we talk about that shit, and I laugh about it now because, like, you know, I got past it. But in real life, though, I think if I'd have, if I'd have thought about how serious it was back then. I don't think I would have made it through that motherfucker. Yeah, because so, like, you know, your mind be fucking. Yeah, no, with you. nigga, could yeah. you be thinking about those people who be sick as hell and they've been living with this sickness, but then yeah. so they find out and they hear those words from the doctor. That's when they go down here. Yeah, immediately yeah. shut down because he already got that shit in their mind that nigga's over. I'm trying to tell you, and I, to, to that point, I never thought about that shit. Man. That, I think the, the, the part of not being able to sleep scared me the most. Yeah. But, like, still, even after that, it was, it was just, like, in my head, like, well, once I get past this. Yeah, like, I wasn't really thinking about yeah. dying. Duh, that shit crazy, yeah. dog. But everybody around you, like, damn, this nigga's bad, <laughs> this nigga bad dog. Dog, down bad. I, I was up. in the crib for months. Yeah, nigga. I remember. Uh, missed the whole summer, damn nigga. Missed the whole summer. I remember. I knew shit was bad because niggas was pulling up on me and coming in the house. Yeah. And if you know me, if you know my block. Niggas don't just kick it in my living room. Yeah. Niggas was kicking it in the living room. No, for room. sure. Yo, we can't so, visit, visit shit the, bad. Nigga had afro look like bone crusted, dog. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like that. But I'm doing it on purpose now. Yeah, like, I'm dog, not sick and shit. That shit up. fucked up, dog. <laughs> Damn. Well, shit, man. Right. Talk about... <laughs> get off that shit, nigga. Right, get off that shit. <laughs> shit, man. Like, you know what I'm saying, nigga. When you was motherfucking Lil' Q.L. Mm. Lewis and shit, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where you from, nigga? <laughs> I'm from the east side. Was it, was, it was in the crib, man. What that shit was like, dog? No, nah, I'm from the east side. Four eight, four eight two zero five. You know what I'm saying about? Uh, yeah, one one sister in the crib, uh, two sisters and two other brothers and shit uh, all together. And the crazy thing that people uh, sometimes forget or don't know and shit, that, like all my other sisters and brothers, like I never, we never lived together. Yeah. Like me and me and uh, my my younger, my youngest older sister and shit. Um, we the only two that live together, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, in, in that aspect. Sure. But um, yeah, it was five of us at the point. Uh again, shout out rest in peace to my to my other sister, which is uh Shy's mom's yeah, yeah. who uh you know, who passed on before my OG. Uh but anyway, yeah, I was in there with my OG, my uh, my old man and uh, you know, my sister Candy. Um and and this is this is another thing that that when people ask that question I always wanna mention. Um, I grew up in a two parent household and I ain't gonna lie, I think for to a certain degree and I don't think a lot of people admit this, I took that shit for granted though. Like a lot of people only only got one parent in the household yeah, yeah. and and like they know that they know that it's something different. Sure. I had two parents in the household and I think I probably took that shit for granted. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I, I probably took it for granted until I got older then I understood like shit the difference it made having an old man in the crib. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. it really makes a difference. So um, yeah, salute to niggas, you know, raising kids together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Salute to you yeah. and your family, like, sure. you know, putting that together because, like, that shit don't happen all the time. Like, yo, your family life was different, dog. For like, sure. Like, like, for sure. Nigga, because when you, you was telling us about, nigga, like, certain things y'all didn't do together, nigga. Oh, nigga. Like, see, so that's the one thing, though, right? So we, we, I grew up with the two family household and all that shit, but we ain't never do family shit. Yeah, for we sure. We do family shit. I didn't have birthday parties. We didn't. We didn't go out to eat. Like yeah. you know, none of that shit. So. Like, nigga, that shit fucked you up as a, in the long run. Like nigga, was it some shit that you wasn't probably doing, nigga, in relationships, nigga, that stem from that shit, dog? For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Cause yeah. it's to the point now where and you it's like that shit was cool. Yeah, we thought it was cool. Like, all right, I'm taking care of the crib, whatever we doing this, that, and the third. Like going out. Yeah. What's that? Because yeah, because yeah. we never did that as a family. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, yeah, I think in relationships, I, that that part definitely suffered because I didn't see that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, now later on in life when, you know, when Candy started driving and everything, me, her, and my moms would go out. Mm -hmm. But that was shit. That's how I learned about, oh, okay, we do family outings. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, you missed that whole shit, dog. I missed that whole shit, dog. And people laugh about that shit. Like, I never had a birthday party, no shit like that. Oh, yeah, that. I never had no birthday party, dog. Yeah. The one time mm -hmm. we tried, niggas just show up, dog. So I gave up on that shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nigga tried, nigga. We, we did Yo, that's, that's super funny. last minute, nigga. They, they didn't one person show up, dog. That's unfortunate, dog. Man, fucked up, dog. Not, not one person. No, no, hell no. Where was that? 
Shit, did you nigga, you probably about yeah. nineteen. Oh, man. I was out fucking around. Yeah, yeah, you was in school around. or some shit, nigga. Yeah, like, probably in school. We say, no, nah, this in no, June. Yeah, I was in the streets. So, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But I say you nineteen, nigga. Yeah. I'm twelve <laughs> in this bitch, nigga. You about to come around, nigga? Hell no. <laughs> fuck that nigga, bro. Hell yeah, nigga. Everybody said that shit, nigga. Fuck it. <laughs> we wound up going motherfucking Bell Out, nigga. I remember that shit, dog. Me. And then, like, my mom, a uh, friend, like, his kids or some shit. Okay. And we just on Giant Slide the whole fucking time. Dude. Yeah, like, fucking Giant Slide. When that, what was that? The little wood skate little shit? The little wood little... That bitch still there. It is? Yeah. So, Hopefully, they reinforced the wood. No, we was on that bitch the whole time, nigga. Yeah. That was my birthday, nigga. I had on the Shaq jersey. I'll never forget, nigga. Shit, that's good. That's yeah. a good birthday celebration. Man, I guess, nigga. That should have been better, <laughs> niggas, who came and got me a gift, nigga, that bitch. Yeah, yeah I feel you. Now, yeah, nigga, fuck your birthday, nigga. You, 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 you once wanted to be a rapper, dog. For sure. So, nigga, where your music motherfucking shit come from, dog, that you was rocking with? Nigga, I know it wasn't from Grandma, nigga. Nah, not at all. And that's the funny thing. Like, I hear everybody you tell... You music? Dog, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I hear everybody tell their stories about, yeah, I hear that Anita Baker, that's what I know, it's time to do chores <laughs> and shit. I'm like, damn, my mama cleaned in silence. Yeah. She was like, some old slave shit. Dog, that's like, wild, because niggas, when they get to clean it, they got to have some music, dog. Dog, not my OG, dog. My music shit come from my old man, dog. Like, okay, what the hell um, you listen to? Dog, my old man listen to all the old shit, you know what I'm saying, Temptations, motherfucking Marvin Gaye, shit like that, yeah. and uh, we kind of got hip to that shit, really, uh, me and Candy fucking around with the record player, that's how old we is, yeah. uh, we was fucking around with the record player, and she found records, so I don't know, so it's my old man music, but I guess I kind of got my musical influence from my sister, though. Cause it was his music, but she was yeah. the one picking the songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so honestly, yeah, old Motown shit, dog. That's what I got that shit. That was my old man, all his records, and and I tell this story too, real quick, dog, about the records. You might not know about this either. What so my old man had like a thousand motherfucking records, like, mm -hmm. and when I say records, I mean like vinyl. And uh, it used to be upstairs on the, you know, on the on the uh, top floor, mm -hmm. and my sister was cleaning up and shit. And I think she had killed a centipede or some shit. Yeah. So she thought that it was centipedes everywhere. Duh. And she threw all of the old man records out, dog. <laughs> all them bitches. This is like damage, nigga? Record. Like, she threw the dog. So this how old he is. Yeah. This was the this was the big ass metal uh garbage can in the alley. Oh damn. Yeah, they throwback. gone. Hell yeah. Oh, they gone, nigga. That's throwback. Like she above. threw all them bitches away. So I'm like, so I go outside because I'm like, I ain't fucking with Hell this yeah, shit. Yeah, I ain't with this. So she threw that shit away. My OG came to the crib. She told her what happened. My old man was at work. I was like, dog, he gonna kill everybody in this bitch, dog. Hell yeah, them records, nigga. Dog, he lost it. Duh. You know what I'm talking about? And he's old. I mean, I used to listen to so much shit on the record players, dog. On the low, I used to listen to. Uh, that's how I got hit the Red Fox. Yeah. I was. That's how I listened to comedy, yeah, listen to comedy on, on vinyl, yeah, nigga. Yeah, Red yeah. Fox. Uh, fucking uh, Richard, Richard Pryor, Pryor. Oh, yeah. nigga. This, this was my first. These was my first uh, times hearing raunchy ass comedians. Yeah, that shit crazy. On vinyl, that you gotta listen. That she shit. threw them bitches away. So I'm, I'm guessing <laughs> the bitches wasn't. It, it, he was able to say them bitches though. No, nah, they gone. Once they go back there, yeah. you know them, them big ass metal joints. Niggas was throwing yesterday's chicken on top of that bitch. And, <laughs> You know, it's metal, nigga. So some a lot of that shit cracked and oh, broke yeah, and shit. Damn. You know, yeah. I didn't even know and that. And then shit. aside from that, who going in that bitch to get yeah, yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's funny. Hell, she threw that shit away because of one centipede, dog. No, that's a throwback, though. Yeah, Niggas yeah. don't even know that we used to throw garbage away in the backyard. Yeah. I mean, in the in the alley, like we had the dumpsters, like how fucking stores and businesses yeah. have dumpsters. Nigga. No, that's a super. Cause usually only apartments got those bitches. Exactly. Yeah, they used to be in the hood though. Damn. They used to find bodies in that nigga, bitch and everything. Like, Me going that bitch to get them bitches, dog. My dad was crazy about the motherfucking music play. Man, music shit, threw dog. them bitches away. Man, uh, if my old man ever sees this interview, he probably go break out in tears dog. thinking about and that shit. probably worth a gang of money. I'm sure it is now. This is old shit. You know, old temptation shit. Like you yeah, know, yeah, like you said, they can. I don't know my friend. Hell no. Tenny said San Francisco. Oh, I said, yeah. I remember Red Red Fox, Fox, yeah. <laughs> Same shit, nigga. Same shit. Now, dog, with your music, nigga, you, 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 your, your shit different, dog. Yeah. You don't listen to niggas like how, how nigga, most niggas like nigga Nas, no. whole. I mean, I like them. You like the nigga, but them ain't your niggas. No, nah, them ain't my niggas. So, nigga, nigga growing up, nigga, who was the niggas you would fuck with? Like, your, your, your first favorite rapper? Dog, my first, my first favorite rapper, for real, was Easy e dog. And yeah, this is because, yeah, shout, shout out to my nigga Coke, dog. I remember... Um, we used to be cross the street hooping, dog. And I, I look at that shit now as an adult and can't imagine how the fuck all of us was back there playing basketball. But yeah. um, he used to be playing NWA shit 
on like this big ass loudspeaker while we back there hooping. Yeah. This is shit that I know I ain't supposed to be listening to. Yeah, for sure. like, you know, at this point, I'm like seven, eight years old or yeah. some shit. Maybe nine and shit. These motherfuckers going crazy. Nigga, this bitch, that pussy and yeah. everything. But I love that yeah, shit, right? Yeah, Which is why I talk like this now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but even out of all them niggas rapping, like fucking easy. I mean, uh, fucking Q was phenomenal. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like these niggas rapping. But it was easy though. It yeah, was like yeah, yeah. I just love this nigga delivery. Yeah, nigga, no, that nigga shit was unique as hell. Dog. Unique as fuck. His yeah, voice, yeah. everything. So I'm like, damn, I, I fell in love with that shit. And then another time, obviously it's too short. I was uh, my old man had a brown caddy. Though. I remember he, first time he let me drive that shit to the store. So I driving that shit to the store. He had a tape in that bitch. So I pushed it in. It was cocktails. These are the tails, the duh. freaky tea. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's where nigga. That's how duh. I learned about too short hell in my yeah. old man car, bro. Yeah. So I'm playing that shit. I roll to the store and shit. I'm banging that shit. Like, okay, motherfucking cocktails. Like, I fuck with this shit. So then when I finally got my car, I stole that nigga tape. <laughs> Sorry, boss. And I, I stole that, that motherfucker. I played that bitch to the tape pop, nigga. Duh, so I've been, on, I've been on Too Short ever that's, since. That's a throwback, nigga. So that was a nigga. Too Short. Too Short, Easy E, dog. You yeah. know what I'm saying? West Coast shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. West Coast you, shit. Yeah, yeah. you wasn't an East Coast nigga, dog. Nah. At all. Snoop, fucking dog yeah. pound. Like, but shit. I can see why. Because I fuck shit. with West Coast nigga heavy, dog. Yeah, that I music, fuck with West Coast. I think that music was easier than nigga, like, to grasp to, dog. Like, if you was, like, a first-timer, nigga, and yeah. you don't know nothing about no conscious music, you ain't trying to listen to niggas on the you know, exactly. so East Coast and shit. And then for me, like, it's all about production. Like, if, yeah. I, if I'm if i feeling a beat and shit, then I'm yeah, with it. Right, and that's, yeah. that West Coast shit was what it was. Man, yeah. fuck that. <laughs> no, but I'm with you, though, because, nigga, I fuck with all the West Side niggas, dog. Yeah, for sure. Nigga, nigga, like, don't get me wrong, I fuck with East Coast. You know, I fuck yeah. with Big, Red Man and shit like that, yeah. but, you know. That's about it. And shout-out to my nigga Kodak Lee, too, though. He the one who put me up on Red Man, dog. Uh, the Red Tape, There's a the Dark Side. That was my shit. Yeah. He the one got me hit the red man back in the back in the day. His mom's had that purple lumina, nigga. Yeah, no, my nigga, the purple dog. lumina. My fucking tone had every every we went lumina crazy in that was, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lumina, dog. That's it. That, if you had one of bitches, nigga, you are. That was like that was like the tax money car, nigga. Dog, like like the Impala, yeah, dog. Hell yeah, the Impala definitely. Niggas tax get money. them aluminum was quick, dog. Everybody <laughs> had one of them bitches, dog. Something was wrong, nigga. Then when I got older, it was like the Intrepid and shit, dog. dog. Shout out to that Lumina, though, because that was that nigga mom's Lumina, bro. Duh. And when I tell you, this nigga mama didn't hit the brakes to come in the driveway. <laughs> no, that purple Lumina used to hit that bitch like, ah! Duh, that nigga, she throwback. never stopped to go in the driveway, Super bro. Super throwback fucking car, dog. Duh, for sure. Now, nigga, we, we, you already know you do a million things, nigga. Mm -hmm. And you already know, nigga, one by the ass, nigga. What's the first thing you wanted to, to, to be when you was younger that was some goofy shit, dog? <laughs> like I said, you already know me tap dancing is big, dog. <laughs> What's the shit you want to be, nigga? Wrestler, nigga? No, nigga. <laughs> I want to be a motherfucking ninja. No, this nigga. No, because. What, had the three little ninjas or some shit? No, it was this movie called. Fuck. I, I don't even remember the name of that motherfucker, dog. Was it an American Ninja? It might have been American Ninja. Yeah. I don't know. But nigga, I, I'm talking about I'm old as fuck. Always watching shit on Betamax, nigga. This the this yeah, the little that, the that, little that, tape. That's super throwback. Dog. I wanted to learn how to throw fucking ninja stars. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be a motherfucking so ninja. Nigga, hold on, you probably fucking what's that ass man, nigga? Gambit, nigga. For sure. Yeah, For sure, because that was that was my th yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was yeah. my thing. So yeah, Duh. I wanted to be a motherfucking ninja, bro. No, and that was the worst fucking Halloween costume, but you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I never had <laughs> no Halloween costume. I never been trick or treat. This nigga wasn't a kid, though. Yeah, I never been trick or treat. Nigga went straight to adulthood, nigga. Had mustaches and two. We did. Well, I ain't gonna. Well, we we never went trick or treating, yeah. but my auntie used to have a Halloween party every Halloween. Okay, so Halloween. you go get candy and shit. Nigga. Yeah, have candy so and shit. The look, the the grown folks played poker. Yeah, we uh we played musical chairs. I don't know why the fuck musical chairs is associated with Halloween. Yeah, I have no you idea. Gotta play that shit, dog. Yeah, I don't know what hey, dog, they got to do. Know, some nasty shit the niggas was doing. Dog. Bobby for some, apples, nigga. Yeah, dog. That's fucking That's, disgusting. Dog, you think about that shit, nigga. There's so much slob in that motherfucker, dog. Dog, fucking disgusting. And you, that used to be at every kid game that. The fucking uh, uh, musical, musical chair. chairs, nigga. Uh, Pantel donkey, nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. musical chair, low key was fucked. Yeah, it was. Cause especially yeah. when you get down to the last two, nigga. Yeah, shit, the anticipation is crazy. Oh, hell yeah, you be mad as hell. I always used to lose. <laughs> Who first. came up with that shit? I don't know, nigga. But that should be every party, nigga. But yeah, that yeah. bobbing for apple shit, dog. I definitely had that part of my birthday plans, but nobody ain't come, nigga. That <laughs> bobbing apples, nigga. I don't know why. Fuck I'm glad. Dog shit, I'm glad. Everybody biting that same motherfucker. You know what I just thought about though. Niggas playing musical chairs was probably cheap. What's your mom? Who was controlling the music? Uh, Somebody mama. 
Yeah, you, yeah, you just my mama. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So whoever they wanted to win, they would let. Yeah, they the ones controlling who who close to the seat. Like, to, stop oh, that bitch. Yeah, that's the always lose, nigga. Yeah, Man, I, nigga, you do that shit. Teachers start school. pushing yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, niggas start fighting and shit. That bitch, uh, <laughs> duck, duck, goose ass nigga. Hell yeah, that was a good game too. Hell yeah. Man. Hey, I used to hate running around. You can't catch that nigga, dog. Hell yeah. What was that other shit, too? We used to sit in two circles. And it was like a race and shit, though. I know what you're talking about, but I don't know that. Some type shit, yeah. No, that's some throwback shit, dog. Hell yeah. Damn, we old as fuck. Now, nigga, you, you, like I said, you, you uh, coming up, nigga, with the king and shit, dog. Oh, yeah, for sure. Best, best high Reynolds. school in the motherfucker. Yeah, you already talking about Coach Reynolds and shit, dog. No doubt. So the nigga them football days, nigga, like, like talk about that shit, nigga. Like, did you think you was going to the NFL, nigga? Oh yeah, absolutely not. So <laughs> oh, you ain't you ain't absolutely no dreams, nigga? No dreams oh, at all. No. So what you gotta also keep in mind too is that I attempted to play football in Little League and shit, right? Mm-hmm. Um shout out to the Saints and shit. Shout out to my nigga Angry Man. Uh Kodak Lee, both of them was playing for uh for the Saints at the time. And uh I went for two days yeah, and yeah. then I quit. Not because I couldn't take the football shit. I couldn't take the training shit. It was yeah, too much no, running shit. A lot, nigga. So I was like, I'm weak as hell, all right? But this is what made it weak. I would leave. I, I quit that motherfucker, but be across the street hooping all day. So, <laughs> like, nigga, if you go do that, you could be yeah. you could be here. Yeah, but anyway, bad. getting the king, though, was was the shit. So ninth grade year, I didn't play. Because I, I wasn't going to play. Like, angry man was trying to get me to play and shit. Like, fuck that or whatever. Yeah. So then 10th grade, I'm like, bet I'm going to do it. So I ended up playing on JV and shit. Cause I don't know if y'all know this or not, but at King and shit, this is a real program. Yeah, <laughs> like, for sure. you, like got, you really got to be trials, nigga. yeah, it's trials and shit, right? And niggas, it was seniors getting cut. Dumb, you know what I'm saying? Wild. Like it's real life in that bitch. So I played tenth grade year, had a motherfucking ball. Was kind of mad that I missed all them them uh, child years as a football player. Like damn, I should have been playing. Hell yeah. This shit fun to sell. So then eleventh grade, this is some goofy yeah. shit. Tenth tenth grade year, I had a I had a phenomenal motherfucking JV career, nigga, yeah. for real. Like I end up what. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Ed Fabray and shit. Uh, he played DN, I played D tackle, dog. We was playing, I can't remember who was playing, but dog forced the fumble and shit, dog. And the ball just like magically came to my hands, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, stick him. Pop right <laughs> to me. So dog looked at me. I looked at him and looked at the motherfucker end zone. Bro. Took off, nigga. Because I always been fast for a fat nigga <laughs> shit, right? So I get down to that motherfucker. I spiked that bitch, nigga. I done scored uh, on score defense. Bitch, I scored, yeah, nigga. Tight, nigga. So after that, they like, oh, shit. So that nigga can move a little bit. Yeah. So no bullshit after that. They start moving me into the offense. Yeah. So like we end up running a, a one a one back set, nigga. Yeah. So I'm in the back like Bettis, nigga. Yeah, like like Bettis at Notre Dame, nigga, yeah. for real. So I ran that bitch a few times. Shout out to my nigga Corporate Cody and shit. I ran that nigga over going into the end zone one time. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I had a, a good ass year. I'm geeked as hell. Like I'm moving up at D tackle and shit. I'm knowing that when I get to varsity, I'm not touching the ball. Like, yeah, I'm knowing that because yeah, we yeah. got angry, man. We just shout out to my nigga Sterl. Yeah. Um, Sterl was there. Like, I'm, I'm not touching yeah, none yeah. of that. So, I ain't even tripping on that. But I'm like, I'm on the D line. I'm, I'm going to play. Yeah. So, we had this shit called uh, sports class. Like, this was shit where we went over plays, worked out all this shit. This was uh, uh, over the summer and shit. So, you go through this whole little process, and then at the end of the summer, we got a list. Yeah. Like, if you ain't made the list, don't even come to summer practice. Yeah. So, like, I'm doing that shit. I'm looking at the list. Now, mind you, I ain't playing no varsity. I'm coming back 11th grade. I'm fifth on the yeah. motherfucking D-line list, right? Yeah. It's four starters. Yeah. I'm right here. Hell yeah. And I ain't never touched this bitch on varsity. So, I'm like, nigga, I'm the man, cuz. Because yeah. the four niggas in front of me, they varsity niggas already. Mm-hmm. They was varsity niggas last year. So, I'm next in love. I'm like, oh, nigga, I'm straight. Yeah. So, here go my goofy ass. I ain't going to practice no, today. Nigga, no. I'm straight. Shout out to my nigga Reynolds, though. No man above the team, nigga. Duh. I went so many practices. I tell, I tell the nigga like, yeah, I gotta work this, that, and the third. He like, all right, yeah. all right. So one day I missed like two motherfucking you weeks. Know, duh, damn, I was about to say two days. Two nigga. weeks, and if y'all niggas yeah, ever, absent, nigga. if y'all niggas ever played football for King High School, then you know that nigga tell niggas to go fishing. Yeah, this nigga told me to go fish. <laughs> I was like, I was like, but coach. Duh. He like, nah, man. fuck that. He said, he said the man want to work. Go work. Yeah. That's this is exactly how he talked. So I'm like, Coach, like you sure? He was like, I said what I said. So I was like, Coach, can I can you think about it over the weekend? Yeah. He was like, All right. He knew he wasn't gonna yeah, let me off. So I called on Saturday night, yeah. Coach. He was like, Yeah, it's still the same. Fuck. <laughs> but like, I ain't gonna lie though, like that coaching staff fuck with me though. You know what I'm saying? Cause like they knew they knew I had heart. I was just lazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They fucked with me. So that whole eleventh grade funny shit, that whole eleventh grade year, I went to every game. 
They let me. They let me hold wires and shit. Duh. Like I rode on the bus with niggas and everything. I yeah, just. Can't play. But nigga, you're not playing. Yeah. But we fuck with you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Up. So I'm like, all right, bet. So 12th grade, I'm like, fuck it, I'm playing for real. I went through that whole shit, played and everything. But it, I'm seeing niggas who getting like who getting letters and shit, and yeah. these niggas, everybody six five. Hell yeah. You know, at least six two and shit. Like you know, you got to figure. I'm on a. I'm on a team with you know, with motherfucking Spice. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Fucking uh, Ron Johnson and yeah, shit like these cold. niggas, these yeah. cold motherfuckers, yeah. and these niggas is it's huge. Yeah. I mean, fucking Ron Johnson like six three in high school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, spice like shit. spice like spice size yeah. in high school, yeah. and he younger than me. Yeah, Spice Adams. And shit, yeah, Spice Adams and shit. So like he younger than me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to nobody's league, sure. nigga. I wasn't even going to college to play. Duh. So then. Had a good season and shit. Ended up grades fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't even play in the playoffs and shit. But then uh, I ended up sending, sending my shit around. I talked to Eastern. And uh, and they weren't, they weren't talking about shit, but we went to Eastern anyway. Mm. So then when I went to go walk on at Eastern, dog, shout out to Eastern Michigan. Um, niggas forget. It's still it's Eastern Michigan, but that bitch still, still D1. D1. Nigga. Dog, so I get to that motherfucker and the coach tell me like, yeah, we seen some of your film from King and shit. It's like, I ain't gonna lie. I, I thought you was bigger. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, I'm not, nigga. Yeah, so I'll just be. I get there, I see the D lineman and shit. Every D lineman at that bitch at least 6'5. Yeah, yeah. 300. <laughs> at the time, I'm coming out of high school, you know, I'm, I'm relatively slim, nigga. I, I'm like 5'8, <laughs> fucking like maybe 220. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Little as hell. Fat for high school, yeah. but little for, for, for football, yeah. 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 So I'm like, so I would try it out and shit. They tapped me on the shoulders. Get your ass out of here. All right. So I left, nigga. And then so I ended up going to, you know, Adrian to play uh, football over there. But then, like, you know, I found other shit to do. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, I, nigga, shit I, to do. I swear to God, nigga, I thought, nigga, back then, I'm like, oh, this nigga, my uncle, I got cousin in NBA. This nigga going to NFL and shit. <laughs> I, I do want to say this, too, real quick. And this nigga probably, this nigga definitely has no idea. But I want to give a shout out to this nigga Jelly Roll, right? Jelly Roll, um... Went to Cooley, yeah. but then uh, he ended up being a defensive tackle at uh, Eastern. Yeah. Ended up winning a fucking Super Bowl with the Ravens and yeah, shit, right? Yeah, yeah. So Jelly Roll is this nigga. Before I went to Eastern, <laughs> this is some crazy shit. I, I don't think I ever told nobody this story. But before I went to Eastern, they had this whole write up about him. Yeah. And uh, I think in the paper they listed him as like six one, like three fifteen, like a huge motherfucker, right? So he was talking about, you know, how good he was. They yeah. called him Jelly Roll. I'm like, shit, this nigga went to Cooley. I'm studying this nigga because yeah. it's the position I want to play. Yeah, for sure. So, you so like, be. yeah, so I, I get there and I see the nigga. Never met him, like, yeah. in person. But I see him at the gym because I used to work at the rec at Eastern. So I see him at the gym. He clinging shit. Like, the nigga strong like an ox, like, yeah. for real. But then I'm seeing him, so everything he put on the bench, yeah. I'm putting on that too. Yeah, Cause yeah. I'm like, fuck that. If he doing yeah, all this, doing I can do yeah, that yeah, shit too. Sure. So like this whole time, he don't even know. Like <laughs> he didn't motivate me. I've never met this nigga in real life yeah. and shit. But like thanks to him and shit, like for real, I really stepped my game up no. in the in the motherfucking gym. No. So shout out to Jelly yeah, Roll, man, and congratulations on the Super What's Bowl the for real. Um, shit, what's Jelly yeah. Roll real name? Fuck. Uh, God damn it, I know his real name though. Duh. Oh fuck! I can't. I cannot think of his name. Oh, I'm now. A, I got. I'm a, I got. Look this yeah. Up, so just dog. look at that real quick. Yeah, Jelly Roll, defensive tackle for the Ravens when they won the Super Bowl. Dog. Um. Fuck! I can't think of his name. Went to Cooley High though. And like I said, dog. Uh. uh Lionel. Ly yeah, uh, Lionel Dalton. Dalton dog. Yeah, Lionel Dalton. Dalton. Yes, Lionel Dalton. Shout out to Lionel yeah, Dalton. He true. don't even know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That no, but that's that's niggas who want to like nigga like. I really thought I wanted yeah. to play, so I I'm, I tried to. Based on because he was the closest in size, and like when I say they they put him at six one, he he probably like like no disrespect, he probably was like five ten, yeah, yeah, yeah. might have been he might have been six foot, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But the nigga was an ox though, so yeah. everything he put on that bench, I tried Hell to yeah. do that shit too. Hell yeah, yeah. But that's how it's supposed to be, nigga. For that's sure. how we tell my uh, little shot, nigga. Like, dude, yeah. see that freshman that nigga on varsity. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, do what he doing. Yeah, or, or, or better. Yeah. You see a nigga, you better go at that motherfucker, dog. <laughs> yeah. That's why niggas be talking about this podcast ain't no motherfucking competition. To me, it is. I don't give a fuck. That's just, I've been competitive all my life, nigga. I don't I give a fuck what we do, nigga. Video games, whatever, nigga. That shit was funny, though. Yeah, I ain't never really told nobody that story. Dog. But yeah, shit. Hey. Fucking jelly roll. My, it's my nigga, though. Because, like, I think some niggas over there podcasting know him yeah, and shit. Yeah. Because I think he was up there one time because he know him. Talk that nigga had a nigga on show. No, so. for sure. Because, like, not only that, like, um, he got a lot of other shit going on, too. Yeah. So, yeah, he'll be a dope-ass guest for yeah, sure. Yeah. Now, you say, nigga, you had said that, uh, that, uh, 
once you got the motherfucking Adrian and shit, you already know in the Eastern, you motherfucking too little jelly roll fucking yeah, yeah. over and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the Eastern. That nigga's a dog at Eastern yeah, now. You get lie. the Adrian shit, dog. And then you say you 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 got involved the other shit, dog. Yeah, so that's so. when the motherfucking because you went to school for journalism, right? Yeah, after after the fact, I went to school originally for electrical engineering and shit. But like I said, I fucked so, up. What would you do that for? What you want to do that for? Like, oh, oh, yeah. the math shit. You say yeah, the math shit. I yeah. couldn't yeah. fuck with it. it so yeah. like when you, I didn't know. Came up, you just want to you just, fuck it. I'm gonna do no, that. I just, yeah, I just thought maybe it'd be some shit. Yeah, but I I couldn't do that shit. So yeah. so nigga, so nigga, like I said, you knew with the podcast shit. So but the journalism, of course, it wasn't no podcast back then. Right. So with journalism, like you actually just wanted to be a strictly like just a writer. Oh, for sure. Because like back in them days, like it, that was a thing. Like. Vibe magazine, for source, sure, yeah, all that yeah. shit. That for was sure, the thing. Yeah. So yeah, double I wanted to work XL. for a magazine. Yeah, double XL shit like that. So, um, but what's crazy about it? While I was there, doing all that shit, and then I jump into this real quick too about my internship. But um, in between time, which I actually kind of forgot about, me and uh, me and Corbett Cody had a had a radio show. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, yeah, and I kind of really forgot about that shit. We used to be clowning <laughs> at, at, at the college. At the college, no. bro, we used to be clowning. But I'm thinking about that shit now, though, like. Damn, if I'd have known then that yeah. I wanted to do some shit like this, I'd have definitely took that radio shit seriously. For sure. When man. I was there, but I ain't know. Yeah, so, niggas yeah. don't. Yeah, you yeah, ain't know that know. shit. You just doing some shit. Just doing some shit. Yeah. But yeah, I did the uh, journalism shit, and really, what what gave me the bug? Like I said, I took journalism originally because it was an elective, and then, like I said, Dr. Renner started letting me teach the yeah, class. Teach the class yeah. And then, like, what happened really though? I was working for College World, which is the the publication on Adrian College campus. And I think one day, and there's no disrespect to uh, softball or whatever, but they wanted me to cover a softball game, and yeah. I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I started thinking, like, in order to not have to write about shit I don't want to write about, I'm going to yeah. have to create my Do own shit. shit. Yeah. And that's what I did. So shout out to the uh, fucking, what did I call it? AC Express and shit. I yeah. called it AC Express. And this is what you came up with. Yeah, I yeah. created that bitch myself. I, I started by using the, uh, the first year journalism class as my writers so i created the paper ac express they got credit for writing stories from you know from the class and then i had a newspaper so, so that you had so you had niggas you you basically hire a nigga to write in, the, in that bitch yeah exactly yeah, no, so i've been doing that shit for a long time so i've been a managing editor for quite some time yeah. but uh yeah i did that shit so they would write for credit i would get the newspaper and start doing that shit so the following year i started you know i still was recruiting from those classes but i was no longer teaching yeah. and i really got a kind of like their creative for real creative design over everything. So I, you know, I, I changed it to an alternative, uh, you know, option. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, that was, that was my shit right so there. You know? the niggas like shit to talk about, like we're going to talk about this, this, or whatever, whatever. No, I mean, they still had to cover shit, yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. like any newspaper yeah, shit. Yeah. But then I had, that's where, and honestly, that's where, uh, that's where my column writing, uh, began. So I, it was called flip side, obviously. Yeah. Um, but that's where I started writing columns. So I had a, a, a weekly, Opinion column on the side and shit. Yeah. It was called Flip Side. Yeah, that was, no. That's how you know that's birth of journalism. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. For real. So we talking about 1998. No, a minute ago. Yeah. I did a little research on you. <laughs> this thing. So I know you you got the little uh, internship. I ain't gonna say little. I just yeah. have it. But you got the internship for uh, Black Enterprise. For sure. And she you said it's yeah, some research. Yeah, I did a little research. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you had to go to New York for this shit, dog. Yeah, for sure. So I know, nigga. That was that, that, I remember that summer too, nigga. That was this, that was a uh, ninety. Uh, no, two thousand yeah, two thousand one. Yeah, 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 yeah two thousand one. I remember yeah. that shit. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, can let's I talk about that shit, dog? Cause like, nigga, you going to you know, what I'm saying summertime. You out of school, you trying to fuck around, nigga. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. nigga, Detroit, nigga, at the crib. But this time, you in New York and shit. Yeah, because at this point, that was my third year of, well, I guess maybe my fourth year of school. I don't, I don't really count the year of Eastern because I wasn't doing shit. <laughs> yeah, so it was my third year of Adrian. But, like, um, I think I told this story before. But for, to do that internship, again, I wanted to work at a magazine. So uh, in class, or not in class, but uh, on a school day, I actually skipped classes the whole day. I spent the whole day in the uh, in the library, um, and this is how old this shit is. Like, Cause like it wasn't no it wasn't no Google for real. Yeah, it might have not been Google. No, remember Ask Jeeves? Yeah, is exactly. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it might have not been no Google. Yeah, but anyway, so yeah, I had to. I was going in the library and and hand writing down addresses from all of these magazines, like just going into the Duh. the contact us page yeah, on yeah. the on the actual magazine nigga, not a, not the internet and writing that shit down so I, I typed up uh, inquiries for internships printed them bitches out 
and individually mailed all these bitches. I mailed about 20, I think it was 22 uh, inquiries for an internship, dog. And uh, surprise, well, not surprising. The only people that contacted me back was a uh, black enterprise. I all, I all yeah. Well, I mean, well, I, the only one that gave me the opportunity because yeah, yeah, I got a whole bunch of rejections. Yeah, like yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. I heard we used to do that shit, nigga. I used to write the motherfucking Cash Money Universal <laughs> shit, <laughs> right? But that's when niggas was accepting me. Yeah, for sure. So they end up uh, actually they called me because I had a cell phone. And that's back when uh, well, that's a whole another story. I might not tell that on <laughs> on the camera, but anyway, I had a cell phone, yeah. and uh, so. So Robin, shout out to Robin Clark, um, called me at that point. She was the, uh, I can't remember which department editor, but she was the editor. Yeah. Young black girl, you know what I'm saying? Like all these, all these editors was pretty young when I got there, sure. you know what I'm saying? But uh, she called me, told me about the opportunity and shit. She's like, she go do a over the phone interview. And then if I make it to the second round, she'll give me a call back. Yeah. So uh, I did the interview. I thought the shit went pretty well. And yeah. then she ended up calling me back the next week. To, and we went through a second one. So yeah. I'm like, all right, bet I must be getting close. For sure. So then after that one, I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't like I felt like it was it was straight, but I felt like it's probably somebody better. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But then a few days later she called me back, and told me, you know, I, I had that motherfucker. I was I was ecstatic. Nigga. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at the internship and it's it's a paid internship too. Yeah. This first of all, this shit don't barely ever happen. So you get paid. But it was like, where the fuck I'm going to stay? You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I'm looking up places, and they like, well, you got an option to stay at NYU. So NYU is not too far from, uh, you know, from uh, where I had to go to work at on 5th, on 5th yeah. Avenue. But uh, they want their money up front. So to stay for my internship, I had to pay them $2,500 before Dang, I got there. Nigga broke. Nigga yeah, I, I ain't got that. Yeah. So before I even got there, I got to pay for something. So I go, uh, I go looking up shit. So it had to be Google. Yeah. Or maybe it was... Yahoo or some, some shit. Yeah, I, some. It was some other shit, right? Yeah. But anyway, I found the YMCA in Harlem, dog. So <laughs> they was renting out rooms, bro. And when I tell you, it was three hundred. What was no? It was a hundred, a hundred and eighty dollars a week. Yeah. For a room, dog. Duh. I'm literally in it. It's like a halfway yeah, house. Yeah, I'm about to say a little prison room. No, seriously, like that though. I go in that bitch. It's like is is your bunk? I'm gonna call it your bunk. Duh. A TV. Uh, uh, a little dresser and shit, yeah. and a, and a, a broke ass uh, air condition that leaked water all over the floor when you turn it on. Duh. So you hot in that bitch. Duh, hot in that motherfucker. It worked, but yeah. you you know you got to put towels and yeah, shit up yeah. under the bitch. And I, it, it probably was a bunch, a bunch of crackheads in that motherfucker, dog. It's That's why I said halfway house. So niggas, it was niggas upstairs who was crackheads and shit. Dog, it was. <laughs> it's not funny, but like it was, it was like some HIV patients yeah. or some shit. And I remember dog from upstairs. I ran into the dog on the stairs. And he was telling me about how it was some hoes upstairs or something. And I'm thinking, I remember the security guard told yeah. me these bitches got AIDS or some yeah. shit. I'm a, I mean, yeah. yeah, you can have that, my nigga. I'm like, on that shit, dog. Yeah, I'm straight on that shit. But Duh. I did that shit, dog. Um, shout out to uh, Candy and Angry Principal and shit. Drove me out there. Yeah, they spent yeah. the night with me while I was out there. And then I was off and running from that motherfucker, Duh. dog. And it was... It's some shit though. And was that some shit? Do you ever thought about like that time you dared like nigga? I'm a this some shit. I want to come and live, nigga. Move to New York because no, it, it wasn't that. No, I, it's exciting. It's yeah. exciting as fuck. And I would, I mean, I would, I would live there as a single, as a single person and shit. Yeah. But I don't see how a nigga would ever want to yeah, have yeah, a family yeah. out there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's too, too it's much. too much. Like for niggas who from New York, it probably it ain't shit. But like, and then also too, like nigga, I was. The the Y in Harlem is in the heart of Harlem. So I'm on 135th in Lenox. This is like literally um, down the street from uh, fucking Lenox, uh, Lenox Cafe and shit, which yeah. was famous from uh, from Shaft and shit, if y'all yeah, niggas know yeah, about yeah. Shaft. But it's in the heart of Harlem. Like right now, the shit gentrified is different. Like uh, shit, President Clinton got an office on 125th, all that shit. Right, it's a Whole Foods on 125th now, but 125th off of Linux is also where the Apollo at. Like, this is the heart of fucking Harlem. So I, I enjoy that experience, but shit, I, nah, I, I wouldn't live there. No, nah, I wouldn't sure. live there. Some niggas, there. like I said, some niggas fuck with, but like I said, it probably is better for a single nigga and shit. Yeah. Though. And that that experience, though, I wouldn't get that back for nothing. I, I, I ended up publishing uh, 13 articles while I was there. Um, I left up out of there uh, in the middle, middle end part of August. Thankfully, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously in September they took the motherfucking uh they took the towers down and yeah, shit. Oh yeah, so yeah. I'm glad I wasn't out Damn. there for that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I wasn't out there for that shit. Damn, Rest in peace to all people. Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't even think about that shit. Yeah, September eleventh, uh, I had just got back to school. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that shit crazy, man. Yeah, shout out to those that families. I'd have been stuck. Yeah, that'd have been it. Yeah, little key nigga, my, my granddad nigga, his birthday is, is September eleventh. Yeah, oh, 
He yeah. was in D.C., nigga. Yeah. He came home two days before. For, oh, shit. Because my, uh, my aunt stink, uh, stayed in D.C. In D.C., right. Yeah, yeah. come here. We went down there. She, mm-hmm. He came down right before, dog. He went down there for his birthday and visit. Dog. And he came back to the crib, and he would have been... For sure, stuck in DC. Been stuck, yeah, because they fucked up the uh, Pentagon and shit down yeah. there. Yeah, so yeah, she was all bad. Like, yeah, I was in fucking uh, 2001, 10th grade. Yeah, and I'm telling you what even made that even more scary is, like I said, they they dropped me off and shit. But going back, I took the plane. That was my oh, first yeah. time ever flying a plane. Oh hell yeah! And then yeah. that shit happened. Duh. My nigga, it took me so long to get back on the plane, Duh. bro. It and took me three first years time to get I back on the plane. Niggas, when what's name got to that uh, plane accident, dog? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm like a Leo nigga. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, um, JFK on his kids. Oh shit! Right, right, right. It was right. that sing, it was a single engine plane. Yeah, the yeah. plane went down. I forgot that about same that. Same time I went to motherfucking. Uh, it's something about them Kennedys, Dallas, nigga. nigga. They got something about the Kennedys, yeah. nigga. Hell yeah, dog. So dog, my thing is this, nigga. Like you, you was doing that shit. Mm-hmm. You got done with school. Like what happened in between time, nigga? Because you wasn't fucking with no, like, like, no, on the writing shit professionally or nothing like that. Yeah. You was like you just working for the man. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's it. Cause like he figured when I went and did the internship, I made a lot of connections. Um, I did, I did really well there. But then like I, it was at the, it was at the change of an industry. Yeah. Like at that point, electronic shit was really popping in. Like newspapers was dwindling, magazines was going to online shit. Like shit was changing. So at this point, um, I end up. You know, I got my degree in print journalism, which at this point is damn near obsolete. Damn, damn, damn. Like, yeah, niggas ain't buying, like, magazines, okay. like, you know, papers yeah. and shit so like that. So I can that. see, then yeah. at the time, nigga, internet ain't popping off as far as, like, everything is going on now. So I didn't know. Yeah, you know yeah, I didn't know yeah, it was about yeah, to, yeah, but yeah. I'm right in the cuff, so it's like, damn, shit started changing over. Yeah. I'm like, damn, now I got to go be a regular nigga with, yeah. with a $60,000 debt in Duh. school. But, it's nigga, saying. it's not good, probably, you went through that shit just to have that motherfucking experience to, for what you're doing now. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, you did, nigga, you would have never even fucked with this pit probably. No, nah, not at all. So the experience is definitely like A1. I, I would never take none of that shit back. But I will say that if you go into school, like, this is just like going to the army. You got to have a fucking plan. Yeah, for Like, sure. don't, don't go to school like I did, not knowing what the fuck. Like, change your major 50 times and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. have a plan. And I know it's easier said than done, but now I think we're in a better, we in a better It's a little um, easier spot. to figure out what you want to do. And, and not, not just that, but... Resources. Or... Other motherfuckers before you didn't bend. Oh, yeah, and they yeah, can tell yeah. you, like, you know, coming from where we coming from, like, our mom and them wasn't going to college, so Hell they couldn't yeah. tell us shit. Hell yeah. But now we didn't bend. It's our obligation to to try to guide this younger generation no, a better sure. way to do it. Hell yeah, 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 sure. yeah dog. Yeah, this nigga, that bitch work. Went from writing for the, for the interview of being a man. Dog. Right. Work for the man. <laughs> Working shit. for the man, nigga, for sure. phones and shit, nigga. Uh, no. Black and blue, motherfucker. <laughs> I got a hookup ass, nigga. <laughs> right. Yeah, Fucking black and blue. Hell yeah, these, that was the shit, dog. The, <laughs> that original, was my the shit. original I got the hook up. That new one was whack as hell. I ain't seen it. I haven't uh, seen oh, it. Oh, don't watch it, nigga. Yeah. About 50 cameos in that bitch. That shit trash as <laughs> hell. I don't know what mass people think about, nigga, but what up, though? Come on, show. <laughs> right, I come on the show. Yeah, I love you, nigga. <laughs> now, dog, nigga, well, all the shit you do, nigga, we, it had to be a part two, three, and four to talk about everything, nigga, yeah. and, and totality, nigga. Totality. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. But, dog, so, nigga, you working, you doing your little shit, nigga, working for corporate America, dog. Mm-hmm. And then, nigga, I just remember, like, nigga, 20, what, 2010, mm-hmm. so when you fucked around, had the blow talk radio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, nigga, I know, nigga, I did some research. <laughs> this nigga say this or nigga, we I had know, a conversation. Like, nigga, y'all had a conversation on the block about this shit. Uh-huh. But then, yep. nigga, you the only nigga who kind of, like, nigga, did this shit, though. Yeah, I mean, shout out to my nigga Jay, dog. Jay is a monk money little brother and shit. Yeah. We was all over at my nigga Coke, like I always mention this nigga, mm-hmm. uh, cause he like he like our big brother and shit. Mm-hmm. We in uh we in the basement working out and shit. And I don't know where Jay even got this concept from or why we was even talking about this shit, but he was like, nigga, we should do a radio show. And I'm like, what? Yeah. So I went to the crib, did some research, cause like niggas yeah, had Google's doing. Do yeah. yeah, so I'm googling that shit and blog talk radio jump up. I'm like, damn, I can just do a 30 minute joint for free. Yeah. Like fucking, I'ma try it and shit. So I put my little weak ass metro up to the uh to the computer and shit and was talking over the speakerphone yeah. but uh like this is right around the time you i started sick. getting sick yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> so voice was all fucked up yeah. but i still i was still doing the shit yeah, then yeah. niggas niggas was calling in laughing at me like nigga saw you got a mouth full of hot dogs and shit. <laughs> fuck you nigga Come i stayed i stayed with that shit right so then uh, finally Monk was like, man, I ain't gonna let this nigga do his shit by himself. So, yeah, bitch, because you wasn't yeah. supposed to. It was supposed sure. to always been us. Yeah. So then finally he jumped in and shit, and man, shit, we just been rolling ever since. Just keep yeah. elevating yeah. every time. Like, we start off on the little metros and shit, um, doing all audio, and then uh, I figure out how to do video with some old school shit called Ustream. <laughs> Niggas might not even know what that shit is. <laughs> 
So yeah, I was doing you stream and shit. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do like them niggas be doing on Kid L and shit. I, I think I was the first one. <laughs> I think I was the first one doing video podcast, nigga. I, Duh. This was like 2011. No, like, I, and real I talk, feel like I was the first that, one doing this and shit. And you can pull the shelter to back it up, nigga. Yeah, I, I feel like I was Duh. the first one doing video podcast. I nigga. think you were, nigga. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I know niggas be doing this shit on Kid L all the time. I don't know if they be serious yeah. when they be talking about they the first nigga doing some shit, but I feel like I was the first one doing this shit, though. No, video podcast back in 2011. You definitely was the first nigga. That's crazy. Jay called you, too, nigga. Yeah. Oh, shit, damn. So, yeah. <laughs> but, no, it's, that's crazy as hell, dog, because you, nigga, you was doing that shit, nigga, with, the, with on the Ustream. On the Ustream, yeah. And yeah. shit still going over the speakerphone so niggas could really barely hear you and shit. Can barely hear the niggas calling yeah. in, right? No, so, and then you had to pay for more time. Hell <laughs> yeah. No. I remember being a guest on that, on that motherfucker, dog. And we've and we been doing that shit live from day one. Hell we yeah. wasn't recording shit. Hell yeah. Straight raw, nigga. Whatever we coming out with, nigga, you saw it. So, Unedited. Uh, that shit crazy. No, now, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking like, as far as using like visual shit, like the only person I could probably think of yeah. was Soldier Boy, nigga. Right. <laughs> and he wasn't. And he wasn't on podcast. He was, yeah, he, he was, was just talking podcast, shit. Right. Yeah. He was just talking shit because he was beefing Bow Wow over you stream, nigga. Sure. Making you videos stream. and shit, dog. <laughs> Some of y'all young niggas got to even Google that shit because no, it don't yeah. even exist. Now, I, I think. definitely, I definitely, nigga, say, nigga, not even Detroit, <laughs> nigga. You probably had the first podcast ever. On <laughs> like, oh, video. But nigga up. got some shit. Nigga, before 2010, nigga, let me know, because I, yeah. I don't, I, It wasn't popping, shit, yeah. it was, it wasn't yeah, popping. Yeah, it was Kid L moment, dog. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Kid L, dog. What up, cuz? All right, and fucking bring me on, too, yeah, nigga. You when you bring Shad on, yeah, bring me on. <laughs> <laughs> you do your thing over there, dog. No, nah, for sure. Shout yeah. out to that leather couch, nigga. I need that motherfucking couch. That couch yeah. is comfortable than a motherfucker. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's how that shit started, dog. And then yeah. we just been elevating ever since, dog. Like, no. we did the Ustream shit, and then I figured out... YouTube, nigga, and low key, I, I I don't know if I was the first one doing it, nigga, but yeah. I do want to say that before before YouTube Live, nigga, because yeah. you know YouTube Live wasn't a thing. Yeah, for sure. I was we was doing YouTube Live through <laughs> Google Hangouts, nigga. <laughs> I'm just saying, Google Hangouts was made was letting you go live on YouTube. Duh. This is before because YouTube Live wasn't a thing. They just implemented yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, not too sure. long ago. Duh. We was doing Google Hangouts going into <laughs> YouTube Live probably 2014 nigga, or some you, shit. Nigga, you definitely nigga, yeah, with the nigga, first nigga. So. We out here. Yeah. Somebody cut me a check. Yeah. Fucking get uh fucking Gilly Wallow nigga. Yeah, nigga. Give me some shit over at no, Barstool nigga. For sure. Hell yeah. I think them niggas about leave about Spotify low key. Oh I yeah, them, yeah, I saw that yeah, shit. Yeah, niggas look real little, little, little cheerful nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nigga <laughs> throw them nigga eliminate so nigga so bad, cheerful. Nigga, for real dog. So nigga like Cause you nigga, you got birthday coming up, nigga. And I don't, you know, I don't know if you want. For sure. Nah, I don't give a fuck. I'm old as hell. Yeah, cause you know how niggas do. I don't want no. I know. I'm gonna be forty three, dog. Yeah. I'm be so 43. looking at at forty three, mm -hmm. that was fucking twelve twelve years ago. Yeah. So you was fucking what? Uh, Thirty one. <laughs> Thirty one. Yeah, yeah. My bad. My bad. I have. Oh, yeah, I'm bad at math, yeah. nigga. Yeah, I'm so bad you're at math. Thirty one. You four. 43, you be, you be 43 on motherfucking Wednesday next yep, week. June 1st. Shout out to all my Geminis. What up, though? So, nigga, did you look at, like, nigga, okay, nigga, I'm gonna be doing this shit this long, or... Because it was no no deals for this shit. No, nah, man, in like, them days, it, it really wasn't yeah, shit. Just trying to you was, you maybe, was literally just doing yeah, it for maybe love. Maybe you'll get on WJLB or some shit, nigga. And that was my thing. That yeah. was my thing. I was doing that podcast shit because I'm like, bet if they if they see I got radio personality, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, charisma or whatever you want to call the shit, then I could take that shit to the radio. That was sure. I ain't gonna lie, that was yeah. my that was my main thing with podcasts was like, damn, I can I can basically do an audition for a radio yeah. you know, to get on the radio. All right, shit, let me ask you this then, nigga. You do you do a podcast, but nigga, ain't nobody calling you about that shit, but mm -hmm. JLB called you nigga as a full time uh a DJ on that bitch. It's a rap. You taking that bitch? No. Oh, okay, okay. I got a brand now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and it might not be as lucrative as a nine to five and shit at but, this point, but it's mine. Yeah, for sure. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell and yeah. plus, like, now, I done got to the point where, um, I mean, I, I'm honest with it. Like, we have a fan base, and if I go over to radio, I can't do what I do here. Yeah, for so sure. So, I'm straight. Yeah, yeah, I'm straight. Yeah, I think DJ BJ said that shit, though. Yeah, he you was can't on, do um, it. He was on Me to Connect. Mm -hmm. He was just basically saying, like, nigga... I ain't, I, I ain't, I ain't quoting him word for word, mm -hmm. but basically in a nutshell, he was just saying like the radio was like, didn't want him doing a lot of shit. A lot of shit he was doing, he was just doing it 
when he was winging it and wasn't saying shit. Exactly. And he was basically saying, like, nigga, if niggas didn't like it, uh, my bad. If yeah. niggas fuck with it, uh, right, that was some good shit you did, basically. Like, yeah, see, so I'm straight. I don't need to fuck with them politics, none of that yeah. shit. I'm Shout straight. Shout out to uh, Dr. Darius. He been doing that shit forever, dog. Oh, for sure. Hell yeah, Yeah, bro. him, Bush, man. All these niggas is like, yeah. you know, legends they, they legends on the motherfucker. But it's a whole like, different... It's a whole other thing, yeah. 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 Whole, yeah. whole different type of time, yeah. nigga, for sure. So, with that, with the, with the, so, yeah, so then, so, nigga, what was the, like, what was the more, like, with me, nigga, like, like I said, man, I'm comp- I'm competitive with things. Mm-hmm. What was the motivation to stay in that shit? And back then, nigga, it wasn't no money in this shit, nigga. It wasn't yeah. even called podcast. It wasn't even called podcast. So it was internet point, radio and shit. What's the point of uh, continuing to do it, you know what I'm saying, after you see, like, I ain't about to work for no radio station, like. I ain't gonna lie, the, the entertainment value, though. Yeah. Like, we you start off with one listener, and then you turn it into a thousand or however many it is, and it's like, if somebody if somebody's entertained by this shit, I'm gonna tell you what really sparked me though, was missing a show and a motherfucker asked you what happened. Yeah, for sure. Hell Why y'all ain't do the show? Like, oh yeah. shit. Yeah, niggas checking? checking? Yeah. So now I know niggas checking, like I'm on his I'm on this bitch yeah. now. Like, you know, I'm we here. Yeah. We a staple. You know like, what I'm saying? Nigga, this this nigga, you moved I did some research. <laughs> this nigga, you moved to Colorado, nigga, <laughs> and was still doing this shit with Monk, dog. No, so so again, another kid in L over nigga. <laughs> I'm knowing that we was the first niggas doing remote podcasts on Facebook Live, nigga. Dog. Had to be. And I'm going to tell you how weak this shit was. I'm the only nigga on camera. <laughs> I'm on Facebook Live <laughs> on the phone the phone, with Monk Money. the phone, Corona. Nigga. Yes. So, nigga. Yeah. This is 2000, 2015. Yep, for sure. I'm on Facebook Live on the phone with Monk Money. <laughs> Got him on speaker. You can barely hear this nigga on the live. Oh, nigga, we out here, bro. Duh, duh, so we out here, bro. What's up, nigga? So even though you move, you move, y'all still doing it. What's the longest break that you took from this shit, dog? Since that that was the longest break. Like when I went out How there, how long was that? It was probably like uh probably about two, maybe about two months. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, nigga. yeah, yeah probably about two months. We took two week. months out. Um, might have been a little longer, maybe two, three months and shit. Yeah. But uh, so you know, shout out to Colorado though. So even though I was out there doing the podcast shit, um, somehow I ran across this uh, internship at Denver Open Media. Yeah. Um, Denver yeah. Open Media yeah. Yeah, is where um I was I was working on as an intern at Denver Open Media, which is like basically a, a community radio station. So um, it's dope though because it's like community radio, so that means basically public access radio. But like it also was a, a hub for creatives. So they had all of the any equipment that you could ever think of, dog, mm-hmm. there to rent for creatives. Like I'm talking about they had some of the dopest video cameras, the dopest mics and audio equipment. That's how I learned how to use um all the Adobe shit. Yeah. Cause they, they had the, they had all the luxury shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm using all of that. And uh, like I learned so much from them and also shout out to my man Julius. Uh, from the Plug Network. That's where shout I met him at. Uh, I met him there, and then shout out to uh, my whole Colorado team for uh, joining joining our nation, uh, which is the uh, a nonprofit that I do graphic design for. Mm-hmm. I met Jim there, so yeah. I met Jim there because so I was an intern. I remember you went down there. You went to go meet with them niggas. Yeah, I went to go yeah. meet with them because yeah. So I'm a uh, I'm an intern there, and he needed some some social media help with the organization, which was just starting. Yeah. And like I ain't gonna lie. Everybody else was like too busy, yeah. so they like let the intern help them. Yeah. And thank God, because <laughs> now that relationship has not only been, um, I haven't not only just been gaining knowledge, but obviously it's been it's yeah. been monetarily yeah. lucrative. Yeah, sure. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit, I'm glad. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to shout out to Jim Gary. Yeah. My whole Colorado team, you dog. You know right, what I'm saying? At the right place at the right time, nigga. Hey, I swear to God, no, that's uh, that's how that worked out. Hell yeah! So, nigga, yeah. you 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 uh you eventually moved back to Detroit, and shit. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, nigga, once you move back, it's like, nigga, that's when you, you kind of like took it like to a whole new another level because you were doing this shit what once a week. Yeah, once a week. Now it's been turned to a real morning show, nigga. Three days a week. Yeah, and three shit. days a week and shit. And again, man, I, and I say this shit on every every show I'm on and all kind of shit. But again, I gotta give a shout out. Um, to Angry Man and Monk Money Dog because, again, I say this shit all the time, this is my shit, this is my dream, you know what I'm saying? So these niggas sacrifice a lot of shit to allow me to live my dream. This yeah, ain't their dream. Right. No, for like, sure. you know, Dog is chef, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Angry Man Management yeah, uh, yeah. Central and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. these niggas got other aspirations. For so, sure. 
Like I applaud them. I applaud my whole team because my whole team hold me down, nigga. When I was in when I was in Colorado, nigga, I'm talking about my team was emotional support, yeah, yeah. financial support. Shit, you know like niggas is, niggas that sent me money for the rent. Duh. Like yo, my circle dog, and I ain't even got time to name everybody, but y'all know who y'all is, dog. Every man monk money. Uh, shit, my nigga Bo, yeah, uh, yeah, corporate yeah. Cody, uh, my nigga Big Chris, Lil Chris, yeah, yeah. Big Win, uh, Kodak Lee, nigga, uh, my nigga Coke, Jay, all yeah, no, all yeah, my yeah, niggas, yeah, y'all yeah. know who y'all are. Hey, I know how that shit is. Yeah. Different state, nigga. That bitch Bruh, was mad as hell, nigga. <laughs> Bro, he was dolo. At least I had my son, my brother. Dog, nigga, nigga. so low, <laughs> dolo, nigga. I, I actually had to. I mean, think about that shit though. That was a few years back. So imagine being in your thirties. Moving to a new place and having to make all new friends. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Nigga, I ain't have that's nobody. That's your ass put me up on the uh, Jamerson and shit, nigga. Yeah. Drunk at the park and shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Big gold, nigga. Shut up. <laughs> no, uh, so, in case niggas don't know what you're talking about, though, I used to go to the park. It was this beautiful park down the street from where I stayed in Aurora, uh, Colorado. I used to get a Big Go full of ice and pour uh, Jamerson in that bitch and just sit at the park. And sip that motherfucking and people watch. Oh, hell yeah. It was it was just so beautiful out there though. Yeah. Like the sun seemed like it was closer. For sure, though. Mountains like, in the background and shit. Dog. It's different, right? Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's from the time sure. I there, nigga. It's, but it's like something totally different from where you where you uh where you grew up at. I definitely I definitely need a place there. Like yeah. I, I don't know if I wanna necessarily yeah, live there. You can go ahead, I wanna yeah, be able to go yeah, whenever the fuck I feel like. Deal, we can make that shit happen, I swear, that's the first thing. For sure. I will I will buy property in Colorado before I buy property here. Oh yeah, what shit? First thing I'm doing, nigga, I'm go, I'm going knocking that door, my granddad crib. Man. Oh, you want that motherfucker? Yeah, I'm telling niggas, dog. Whoever in that bitch, yeah. like, get the fuck out. Hey, nigga, you think it's weird if I knock on that door and ask how I look around? Yes, nigga. What if I'm holding my daughter? Yes, it's still <laughs> weird. It's don't no, do that shit, nigga. I, I thought like, I ain't gonna lie. Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna get that house. Can I over. look around? Yeah. Imagine a nigga come to your house and ask you that. Well, we got a dark nigga. I'm like, well, damn, that could be a sale too. That's a sale, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know where we from. <laughs> come on, cuz. <laughs> nigga, go be like, well, the kid got good. Right. <laughs> no, I, I, got got, good. I, I hope that ain't too, you know, with the shit that just happened, though. I'm sorry. I apologize. I know, right? Yeah, too soon. Yeah, probably. I wasn't yeah. even attempting, but I could see how a niggas could be. I can like, see it. Yeah. 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 Now, dog, you know what I'm saying? We press for time, dog. Yeah. And like I said, dog, I know you got a lot of shit, but. The one thing I think you're more passionate about than anything with this shit, I think you're more passionate about the writing. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You got, uh, let, me, let me see. I did some research. You got what? You got five books, right? Uh, like, Yeah, five. Yeah, five. Yeah, see, that's off the top, nigga. I, ain't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know that shit, dog. I know that shit. And then, uh, what, one of them is it, a, a I mean, I mean, really, it's really a six, but I, I say five. Oh, why? You why say? Yeah, because one of them is a one-act play. And a lot okay. of people don't know about that shit. Okay, there, okay, so. yeah, because I know you got the, uh, the poetry. So I got three. It's three volumes of poetry, which is uh, Off the Block, volume yeah. one, two, and three. Uh, the then I got the uh, yeah the letter f uh, from my mom, and shit. Yeah. That's the... Uh, that's the the book that I wrote actually while uh, while I was in Colorado. So I don't know a lot of people might not know, but uh, my mom's passed away while I was in Colorado. I came home basically for her last what three days of her life. Uh, yeah. Spent those last three days with her, and again, like me and my mama had a full relationship. So like, not that I'm not sad, but I exhausted everything I needed out there. I was at peace, right? Yeah. So I did that shit, and then I went back to Colorado after we buried her or whatever. Which, uh, by the way, before this uh, airs, uh, her the anniversary of her death for the what six years now was on yeah. the twenty fifth of May. Yeah, um, sure. So yeah, so that just passed. But yeah, I went I went back to uh, Colorado and shit, and I I think this was part of my uh, what do you call that shit uh, grieving yeah. process. I wrote this book, so which was basically just a letter. So if you're familiar with uh, James Baldwin. Uh, his, uh, fuck, what's the, god damn it, I'm having a brain fart now, cause I, I, I low-key got emotional about my mom and I'm trying to play it off, but, <laughs> for real, oh, the, first thing I'm the, the fire, the fire next time, though, so if you're familiar with that, the fire next time, this is a letter written to his, uh, to his nephew, yeah, yeah. I wrote it in the, in the same kind of passion, though, yeah, right, yeah. so, I wrote this letter to my mama just talking about, some funny shit in there, just going over all the stories yeah. and shit that we shared amongst each other. I'm just wrote it in a letter form. So that was like my kind of way of grieving. So I published that, and then finally, uh, a few years back or three years ago, um, I did Those Brilliant Bastards, which is my first novel. And this novel is about uh, mass incarceration and the effects on you know the African American community. So. Um, yeah, she yeah. was she was dope though. Like yeah, yeah, so, yeah. that was my first novel. I do want to do a, a, another one, but yeah, yeah. 
first I gotta do the you know yeah, my, my shit about the documentary. Yeah, I said, this nigga motherfucker, uh, not no disrespect to Jamaicans, but yeah, <laughs> this nigga uh, jack of all trades. Nigga. Shout out to Jamaicans. Hell yeah, yeah, they do anything. They do photography, nigga, shit like. Oh yeah, do that shit too. But you can pick that shit up on the on the humble, like just yeah. Sh- you need a camera, nigga. Do this shit. Nigga. Right. Shout out to uh, shout out to Monk and shit who uh, put me in touch with uh. The owners of you know Easy Street when it when it was oh, popping yeah, up, right. yeah, yeah. yeah, you got that bitch off of that off was of, your pay. Yeah, that was my yeah. pay for doing their social media. So when we first started out, they didn't really have no money to pay me. So I was like, well, you know what? In order to get these pictures and social media popping, like I need some camera equipment. Yeah. So they ended up purchasing all my camera equipment. I've just been yeah, it was dope payment nigga. Cause you've been for you've been sure. making money off that bitch, nigga. Dog, for sure, I'm sorry, that shit, nigga. For so, sure. Shout out to the whole Manny family, dog. You know what I'm saying? Show me love on that, too. Shout out to the Manny family. Shout out to my man Josh, too, man. Josh was uh, plugged me in. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, he was one of the corporate people from, uh, you know, Easy Street. And yeah. Again, shout out to Monk for including me because, like, he had got into that situation as partners with these dudes and shit, and he didn't. He did not have to put his reputation on the line to get me in. So yeah, yeah shout yeah, out to my dog. Yeah, yeah. That That's dope. my circle. My yeah. circle of shit. I love y'all niggas. Uh, dope bar and shit. Dope little time we we had niggas. Man, what, Easy what, what, Street, two man. Years or some shit in that bitch. Yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. I ain't really get street. to be there as much as y'all because this shit up the block for y'all. Yeah, it's up the block. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we was in that bitch I'm like Norm. Yeah, we traveling to this motherfucker get there, dog. But had some good food. Uh, 50 Cent Wings, nigga. I remember being there all the time. Nigga, me, Allison, Lance, <laughs> Lance <laughs> shit, right. We all had that bitch come traveling for some wings that we could have probably got from Buffalo Wild Wings. For sure. For the gas price that we was <laughs> But, nigga. Oh, if the gas had been what it is now, oh, y'all niggas. Yeah, yeah, nigga. I'm ready to come do this podcast, nigga. <laughs> nigga, <No. laughs> y'all start asking me for gas money. Yeah, come hey, do nigga, this whole podcast. Hey, y'all niggas flake out with me, dog. I need some gas money, dog. You got cash at me 20, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, that should be a thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. So we have man, well, everything that you, that you're doing, as far as like nigga, like I said, writing, podcaster, producer, nigga, like what you what you want to accomplish, nigga, like shit, man, like within the next, you know, what I'm saying, couple years with this shit, dog. Um, with the podcast shit, man. Honestly, at this point, I ain't even gonna lie to you. With the podcast shit, what I would like to accomplish is to be completely behind the scenes and, and create. A network for you know other podcasters. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I, I enjoy being in front of the camera. Like I do, obviously have a a good podcast personality. But at the end of the day, um, I'm I'm outgrowing it. Yeah, so yeah. I, I want to be able to yeah. give other niggas yeah. an opportunity. That like that's where I want to be in a couple of years where you can be like, well, you know, I went to Q Studio. We did this, that, and the third. Sure, or yeah, my yeah. podcast is popping off because he put me in position to get to these right places. Cause that's the that's the thing. There's a lot of people with, with podcast networks and they just got a bunch of motherfuckers on the network, but you still ain't doing no work. Sure. I want to be the one who got a network and you on my network and I'm I'm hustling for you. Yeah, hell yeah, so yeah, like yeah. you doing your shit, so let me reach out to such and such. So sure. you can you can concentrate on your craft and I'll get you the plug. Hell yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'll get you a deal and I and it's the thing, like this is just like management. I ain't standing in nobody way, dog. If I can get you connected with somebody and you gotta get the fuck on, then you do that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I heard here first. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, no for real. Like, I'm if I plug you with somebody and they be like, "Well, shit, we want that that one yeah. motherfucker off your off your shit." That's cool. Yeah. Cause I'm I'm still gonna use that as a selling point. Yeah, like, sure. shit, remember yeah, the yeah. last podcast? Yeah, yeah. yeah. nigga blew up. Yeah, yeah so like, now I get to up my price. You yeah. feel me? So, but shit, yeah, I say, cool nigga, I still like that. Like, because you know, actually, our relationship a little different, nigga. Oh yeah, it's different. Cause I already told you, nigga, I'm gonna shit night your shit. You well, try to leave me, nigga. I got the masters, nigga. If you want to fuck around and, and fuck me and, and and not the whole team, then I hey. fuck. I got to bring that nigga on on payroll, nigga. Hey. A, a cameraman, producer, and, and, and we something. and we always say that shit. But like in real life, dog, it ain't. Don't let that be dependent on it. Yeah. Like nigga, you get an opportunity, you take that motherfucker. Yeah, but nigga, dog. shit, I still have to pay you something, nigga. Like, I mean, I, no, work, nigga. I'm just gonna take shit. Nigga, how you doing, man? I'm gonna take shit. <laughs> you get a deal and shit. I'm just gonna borrow shit and never give it back. The fuck Hell you. Yeah, nigga, shit, nigga. <laughs> Hey, hey, let me say, hold on. Let me, let me get that what's name. Let me get 50000 <laughs> yeah. All right, nigga, fuck I'm going to pay you right back, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I'm going to get my shit off the top. I'm getting it. <laughs> Don't worry about that shit. getting it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga 2Gs, yeah, man. Yeah, man, I know that shit going to happen, dog. Niggas going to... Nigga gonna see because like I told you, dog, I ain't calling no podcast out. But nigga, you nigga, wherever you go, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, you work with niggas, you get interviewed with nigga. I just be feeling like nigga, you be, you be like the stand, you be standing out, nigga. You like a bad toe, nigga. Like that nigga said a bad toe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got the, you know how them chicks be hanging around with ugly girls, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you had bad bitches. <laughs> had a bad bitch in the club. <laughs> that can be standing like a, like a motherfucker. No, dog, you dumb shit. Nigga, like I said, man, I think like. Like nigga, I th- I think on the previous podcast, niggas might have thought nigga I was taking shots, but 
I look at the competition. And then, like I said, man, some people I I learn I learn from like nigga yeah. watching your shit and For other sure. nigga shit. But they don't mean that I'm not in, 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 a, in a competition with them. You know what I'm saying? With I ain't gonna lie, I ain't, I ain't in competition with nobody. But I will say this: I dog. use this motivation shit. I think. I will say this, and I ain't even trying to be funny about this shit, but, like, I've been doing this shit for so long, and in real life, if if I if I talk about your podcast, and or I post your podcast, or I share it and do shit like that, in real life, I fuck with you, because yeah, I don't sure. listen to a lot of podcasts. No, hey, I ain't well, gonna lie. Like, not, but, even, not even the, the popping ones. No, maybe. not even the popular ones, though. So, like, for, for me, like, if I'm, if I'm shouting you out... You know what I'm saying? Like I like I be talking shit about uh the niggas on Kid L shit, but that's because I watch Kid L shit. Yeah, I feel and uh, you know, I just yesterday I just posted the shit with Meet the Connect because I fuck with them. Yeah. And when I talk about the twins and shit, like nigga, I, I listen to that shit. Yeah, so yeah. like when I do that shit and uh, even uh fucking the door and uh uh fucking Daisy. Uh, Daisy and shit like Shit like that, like if if I mention that shit, that mean I, I'm I'm rocking with you and shit. Yeah, so for sure. Hell yeah. so it, it's a few motherfuckers that I you know I, I actually yeah, watch I and shit. Yeah, I fuck with that uh, Kitty L podcast. Yeah. I, I fuck with uh, me the connect the connect yeah. experience. Connect experience, shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like I did the Winter Circle podcast the other day and shit. Like I have been looking at that shit. So I, you know, like when you go on somebody's podcast, like you feel like you know them already. Yeah, like, for sure. hell yeah. I, I be checking for niggas. So that's yeah. I was on me connect. Like I knew them niggas I mean, already. Right. Like, <laughs> no, that shit was funny. Like we actually know motherfuckers that you. Yeah. Know what I'm saying like you know they frat and shit. I'm like damn yeah, they 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 OGs is yeah. like my niggas. Like yeah, yeah. that's how that's how I knew like old as hell. I can't wait to go on hell. <laughs> it was like oh they're my OGs. Yeah. Like damn nigga, yeah. thank you. I can't wait to go on other niggas podcast man. I'll be on yeah. with you next Sunday and shit dog. Oh, okay. So I can't wait to do that shit. I like being on somebody else shit talking. Yeah shit, for dog. sure. Hell yeah. Now, and, y'all- and two real quick before you get off that. Um, I do also want to say again because I've been doing this shit for a long time. I be knowing, I be knowing a few things and shit. Um, if you just get into this podcast shit, like, don't be afraid to reach out to niggas who who been doing the shit. Yeah, for sure. I know some niggas is assholes and shit. You go get to niggas who go not go tell you shit or leave you on red and shit. Um, but don't let that discourage you. Just ask yeah. niggas who been doing this shit how to do shit so you don't have to be a nigga like me who had to do Learn every fucking shit. thing Hell by yeah. trial and error. For sure. Because then that Cause shit like, set yeah, you back 10 years. Your ass made super easy for me, nigga. So no, I'm like, it super easy. And yeah. I wish somebody had been there to do it for me so now I'm in a position where I can make it easy for somebody else and I'll do that. So just hit, hit my inbox, nigga. I, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I always tell niggas like, yeah, nigga, that nigga be asking me questions like, listen, I can yeah. tell you a little bit. Right. Like, I can tell you a lot. I can tell you a lot, nigga. I can tell you a lot. For real, sure. dog. Now we get to the end, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man. We want, you know, this could be a part two, three, and four. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna shrink it down. There's so much of shit that you got going on, but dog, uh, you know, right now, nigga, we get to the end. <laughs> shit, dog, man, fuck, hold on, nigga, fuck that, fuck that. What? I forgot, nigga, making a band, dog. <laughs> How we gonna do making a band? I don't Easy. do music, nigga. Easy, nigga. Give me your motherfucking. If you had to pick, oh, let me see. Oh, you shit, I don't and do four music? other podcasters, nigga. Podcasters, oh shit. To make a motherfucking show. Uh huh. Who it's gonna be dog? It could be people who don't even do podcasts, or you just feel like they'd be a dope podcaster that's in the industry, dog. That's like music, com- comedy, because I feel like yeah. certain niggas should have a platform to talk some shit, because just the way they are. Yeah. So who who would be dog? Um. Well, I ain't gonna lie, dog. And, and like how you be saying niggas when they be on your show yeah. and shit. Yeah. I'm gonna say you and shit. I ain't saying it because you here. Yeah. <laughs> I would say because obviously, nigga, we 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 blood, nigga, yeah, so we got yeah. good we got good chemistry. But yeah. also, like how I said on on the uh, fucking Winter Circle podcast, like nigga, you good at this shit? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, nigga, I gotta have you. So it's me, you. I'm a fuck with. Damn, do they count as one or two? If I say the twins, you count one. You count <laughs> you count one. one. Yeah. All right, so the twins and shit, yeah. right? And then low key, dog, I gotta, I gotta swoop up my nigga Miles and shit. All right. Um, just because me and dog got good chemistry, and plus he good on his production sure. shit. He know a lot of he shit goes, too. Yeah, he know a lot yeah. of shit, right? So I gotta get us for and shit. And I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. This fifth one might surprise you a little yeah. bit and shit. Dog, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the homie Kia and shit, right? Yeah. And I'm gonna say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, yeah. say why because, because Kia. Kia got good chemistry with all of us and shit. Sure. Pretty much good chemistry with anybody she come in contact no, with. Facts. And then um obviously she's attractive and shit, so yeah. so <laughs> niggas will watch that yeah, shit yeah, because yeah. of her and yeah, shit. So. so we definitely about to do part 
four. Man, and, and, I, and I mentioned I mentioned that because she had reached out to me the other day and asked me about uh, a little podcast situation. She, I, I'll tell you about that in a minute, but that's some, some shit we was talking about. We was trying to jump that around a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm going to ask you about see how you feel about that yeah. shit. But yeah, that's my five. Right. So uh, me, you, the motherfucking twins, my nigga Miles, and Kia and shit. That's how no, we roll No, it. me, dog. I'm going to take people... Who I, I that's not even a podcast space okay. that do it that I want to do something with. Yeah, who? I'm curious. Do, huh? All right, you think you got me? Uh huh. I want the uh, Mar- Maricia. Okay. Cause I just feel like nigga, her, her 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 grind. Yeah, her grind is just heavy. her energy and how she came on this bitch and we just had. Yeah, good ass conversation. Yeah. Big fool, big fool, lay. Dog, I fuck with dog. <laughs> I fuck with dog. Like I don't even like. I fuck with dog. Like I want to go kick yeah, it. Like I, I don't even. Like, we need to kick kicking about music. Dog, like, yeah. I feel like he'll be. Uh, I just feel like it'd be a dope podcast with them niggas. That though. nigga remind me of me, though. Yeah, that nigga, that's nigga, like, yeah, he remind me that, of myself. That nigga, that nigga funny as hell. Dude. I'll take uh, Carlo, Sean Carlo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he's just on the conversation base. Yeah. And then. Yeah, he go, he go keep that shit way around it. For sure, for sure. And the last person, because I'm going to do this podcast with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to do this podcast with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Fuck, I don't know who have, who have, who have feel for me, dog. Damn, you ain't gonna say your dog. He gonna be mad and say. Oh, cheesy. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about cheesy. About? You know who gonna be mad? Who? My nigga V. V. <laughs> oh, nigga. oh shit. He gonna okay, be okay, pissed. Okay, hey, hey, hey. No, I think it's too hey, late. Forgot, he gonna be pissed. I forgot. He gonna be I forgot, pissed. Dog, I forgot. <laughs> hey, Bert, you got that last spot, dog. <laughs> That's yeah. who I thought you was going to say. He conversation for days, so that'd be my father. Conversation for days. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. you was going to say that. Too, dog. For sure. Now, dog, we get, he can get it. <laughs> fuck him, already, dog. You, you know we niggas. So. He was going to be mad as shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm I, definitely cutting that clip out. I was just thinking and shit. But now, Virg already know I fuck with him, nigga. He yeah. the reason why I got to the podcast shit. No doubt. So he no know doubt. shit. Yeah. So, nigga, you know, we get to the end, dog. For sure. Versus, nigga. Yep. Ass or titties. <laughs> Ass, but it's been titties lately. Like, yeah. I, it's been titties lately. Yeah. Ass is my choice, yeah. but it's been titties lately. Nightlife or daylife, dog? Daylife now. Back yeah. in the day, it was nightlife. Yeah. Now it's like, I need to get this shit out in the daytime. Hell yeah. Yo, mama cooking or your grandma cooking? Ooh, shit. Yeah, so they both was some good yeah. was My grandma though. cooking, though. My grandma cooking. Rest in peace to both of them. Okay, okay, okay. Nigga, uh, Martin... Versus San Francisco. Niggas Martin all day, regardless of who you yeah, put it against. It's always going to be Martin. Yeah, it's always going to be Martin. That's the easy one. Boys in Hood versus Menace. Boys in Hood. All right, all right. Tall Chicks versus Slim Chicks. Nigga, what? Tall, chicks. Tall, oh, I was going to say yeah. Tall versus Slim. Yeah, Tall versus Short Chicks. Uh, like I said, preface is short. Lately, it's been tall. Or like <laughs> <laughs> light skin versus dark skin. Dark skin, dog. You know my light skin yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah. Podcast host or Arthur? Oh shit, Arthur! Oh, you say fuck the podcast shit, though. Huh? Yeah, I do this shit because this is a this is a media avenue for to to sell my books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm All an author right. by by nature. Test on versus uh, drink champs. Mm. <laughs> Test on. Okay. If 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 it was a little, I ain't gonna lie. Um, just if we looking at the the critical part of it, if if EFN was a little more in tune yeah, and shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I would say drink champs. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can damn near have Nori do the show by itself. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Barbecue sauces, pause. <laughs> or barbecue burger, nigga. Turkey burger. Oh, uh, turkey burgers, because when I do them, because yeah. them bitches slap. Hell yeah. So, can you do bourbon versus whiskey? Is it a difference? It, it's sort of. It's yeah. sort of a difference. I would pick bourbon, though, because bourbon is normally higher proof. Okay. Yeah. Um, beers, bourbon, and whiskey. Versus Wake and Bake. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? Beers, bourbon, whiskey. I'm going to tell you why, though. Uh, because Wake and Bake show was a collective idea. Beers, bourbon, whiskey was my idea. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, yeah, I, I birthed that sure. in my head. Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> dog. Motherfucking, um, braids or motherfucking... Because <laughs> you ain't you, 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 braids or when you had the motherfucking 360, dude. My 360 was banging up. Yeah, like, I'm going to take the 360s. Like, right, ve- if I get the hairline back. Vezo too, versus Peasy. Oh, that ain't fair. I fuck with both of them niggas, but on my fat nigga shit, Peasy. Okay. All right, nigga. Uh, old Q versus New Q. Mm. 
Like the brand new Q? Because the brand new Q is a is a good mixture of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Old Q was the shit, but that's that shit that shit for the twenties. All yeah. right. Hell yeah. I couldn't be old Q now. Shit, that's mad disrespect. We don't even live in the in the climate to allow me to be the old All Q. Right, last one, nigga. Smash and go or smash and chill. Shit. <laughs> smash and chill. I'm a lazy nigga. <laughs> I'm trying to smash and eat the kids' motherfucking juju beans, nigga. No, no, dog. Hey, nigga, give me a hot moment or drunk moment, dog. Uh, hot moment, drunk moment. Give me moment. a funny story when you was high or drunk or both of them bitches. Dog, so I, I got plenty of them motherfuckers, but I'm going to tell this one, dog, real quick. Um, Shout out to, oh, shit, do I want to say dog name? Shout out to my man, you know. <laughs> we used to go to school together and shit. Yeah. But anyway, um, shout out to uh, all of Monk Money's family, though, because this is the reason while I was at the uh, Joe Lewis Post, right? So at the Joe Lewis Post, it used to go down in that bitch. If you're from the east side, you've been to a party at the Joe Lewis. So I'm at the Joe. I done got fucked up, right? I I, I want to say that joint was home from the Navy or some shit. We done got drunk. I'm at the bar. I mean, I'm at the uh, cabaret drunk as hell. I called my mans and them. And uh, I'm, I'm like, dog, where you at? It's going down in this bitch, cuz. Like, you need to pull up. So like, he like, dog, where you at? I tell him I'm at the, I'm at the Joe or whatever. He like, bet, I'm going to pull up. So we pull up, like, nigga, come outside. I'm drunk as hell. I got the bottle in my hand and everything. Just yeah, goofy as fuck. Through, fuck I get out to the truck. He got a little baby in the truck with him. Now, mind you, earlier this summer, uh, me and Dog then hooked up with his girl and, and her homegirl and shit, right? You know, when I say hooked up, you know what that means. <laughs> so I jump in the truck on some drunk shit. I'm in the back talking shit like, yeah, think where your girl at? Bitch is going down instead of third, like on some drunk shit, you know what I'm saying? Boss up, get this money type shit, you know? <laughs> so then, nigga, I'm talking shit. The bitch laughing and shit. Next thing I know, I'm passed the fuck out. Yeah. I wake up, the bitch in the car with me. Like, oh shit, we went and picked her up. Yeah. So I guess I didn't talk so much shit, they went and got her. So I'm like, bet I wake up. She, she on me like, uh, what up? I'm like, oh, shit, like, damn. Oh, you here? Oh, bitch, is going down and shit. <laughs> so my nigga in the front seat, like, he hyped as hell because, like, nigga, we got two bitches. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, I pass on again. Somehow we end up on 8 Mile and Grass shit. Drunk as hell. Um, drunk as fuck at the hotel and shit. So he he pull up. I'm like, fuck, nigga, what's, what's poppin'? He's like, nigga, I got y'all the room. Got me an old girl in the room. Like, nigga's going down. I'm like, shit, nigga, my nigga. Good looking. <laughs> So I jump out, go into the room with old girl and shit. She get to talking shit like, yeah, I see you. Last week you had like, you ain't know me this, that, and the third. And I'm like, oh, baby, you know, I get into my fat pimp, uh, my fat pimp shit, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, I pull my dick out and shit, right? So <laughs> she get ready to give a nigga some head and shit. I'm all for that shit. I'm like, hell yeah, baby. Start getting some head and shit. Went to sleep. <laughs> No, I went to sleep. Like, nigga, man, down. So I go to sleep. I wake up because the bitch hit me in my chest nigga, and shit. You know what I'm saying? Time. She mad than a motherfucker. Fuck you, fat nigga this, fat nigga that. Duh. Yeah, I'm sucking your dick. You gonna go to sleep and shit. I'm like, oh, shit, you, little you, baby. Yeah, she you her pride. No, little baby, I'm sorry and shit, dog. So she mad as hell. I go, I leave. I go back out to the truck. I guess dog in there smashing or some yeah. shit. Like, I don't know. I pass out again. <laughs> Let's see. I know when I wake up and shit, we driving. Yeah. So I guess we taking a bitch home, whatever. So, um, <laughs> now, first, first of all, I'm still at the cabaret though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got to go back and get my car. Yeah. So I'm like, dog, take me and get my car. So I'm drunk as fuck still. So we pull up to the car. Little baby mad because I fell asleep and shit, right? But, like, she's still, like, on my head, though. Yeah. But then she, like, low-key concerned. Yeah. Like, real life concerned. So, she, like, well, nigga, you don't need to be driving and shit. Why don't you just let me drive you home and shit? I'll get back in the truck with them, whatever. Yeah. So, now I'm, you, fuck you, you, are, you ain't driving my shit. You know, all this little weak shit. So, I get in the car and shit, dog. This is no bullshit. I'm skirt out. I probably didn't skirt out. But, like, I left, <laughs> I left quickly. Yeah. So, dog, these niggas follow me to the crib. I get to the crib. Like, I really don't even know how I got to the crib. I wake up in the morning and shit, my drawers on and one sock, nigga, no shirt, nothing else, just Duh, laid out. Duh. So I get up in the morning and shit, my dog called me, he was like, bro, he was like, first of all, why you cuss the bitch out, dog? I was like, nigga, she was trying to drive my car. He was like, dog, you goofy as hell. Duh. He was like, second is, you hit the curb like five times. Like, nigga, I'm, I'm following you home and shit to make sure you don't die, but I'm thinking like this nigga gonna die. Yeah. Like, this nigga followed me to the crib and said I was running into the island and all kind of Duh. goofy shit, dog. <laughs> Yo, thank God I made it, bro. No, not, and now she, nigga, it probably took her a while to give a head, nigga, in confidence, nigga. Yeah, right, and she never fucked with me again yeah, after that. Yeah, because she probably thought about you until she get it. Yeah, she never fucked with me again after like, that, though. Like, was my so, shit really good? Oh, uh, little baby, if you if you listening right now, like, I'm sorry. Like, the head was the head was dope and shit. I was just, I was fucked up. I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. I fell asleep on that bitch, I fell asleep bro. on that shit, dog. Damn, nigga. I got another story where I fell asleep on his head, too, but that's a whole nother, that's another time. Fuck his head, dog. <laughs> well, shit, man. 
Appreciate you coming on the motherfucking show, man. <laughs> so, Memorial Day motherfucking special, yeah, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Did a lot of research on your ass, dog. <laughs> that shit was fun, we though. We do part two of this bitch, dog. I think it's say to anybody. I don't know if they can clown me or not. No, this shit was fun, dog. I had fun. But shit, dog. I told stories that you didn't know. Yeah, I, I knew a little bit about that one story, but not yeah. the rest of that shit. Like, you yeah. about to kill yourself, nigga. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, like nigga, that shit. Yeah. You, you about to die, nigga. That drunk for shit. For sure. Yeah, yeah, that drunk shit ain't nothing. Yeah, like, yeah. for real, don't drink and drive. Shit, man. Where can people find you at, motherfucking, to get in tune with your motherfucking shows and shit, man? Dog, what you got going on? Check me out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, eblockradio.com. Shout out to my man's Angry Man and Monk Money. Tuesdays and Thursdays on the Rise and Grind Morning Show on Podcastic. Tuesday nights on Girth. Wednesday nights on Word on the Street Podcast. Shout out to my niggas down in Arizona, dog. Enrique and. And uh, motherfucking, uh, <laughs> I, I want to call her by her, uh, by her stage name. It's Tori and shit, but what's yeah. her fucking, uh, Toxic Kitty? What is it? Ah, fuck. I, Tori. Shout out to Tori and shit. <laughs> Shout out my people down in Arizona, dog, on the word on the street. Uh, that's it. Check out all my other shit on eblockradio.com, including the Shy vs. Everybody podcast that you're watching right now. Yeah, yeah. Check me out on the gram at q.lewis313. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Q Lewis. Hold it down live for the 48205 Red Zone, baby. This nigga a professional motherfucker uh, speaker, nigga. I'm a drop, nigga. Hell yeah. What about I'm saying? a DJ drop anytime. What's some shit you want to uh, leave people with, dog? You know what I'm saying? It's definitely no drinking and driving. Yeah, definitely no drinking and driving, but on some real shit, dog. Whatever your dreams and aspiration is, like, they yours. Don't ever let nobody talk you out of them bitches, dog. No, no matter how long that shit take, just do that shit because niggas ain't promised tomorrow. Like, them niggas... I don't, don't want to make this shit all fucked up, yeah. but them people dropped their kids off. Hell yeah. They ain't thinking they was going to see them. For sure. Nigga, you just don't ever know. Hell so whatever yeah. you want to do, nigga, do that shit. And I and I did this shit this morning, um, too. Like, if, even if it's some people you haven't talked to in a while, just take somebody that shit. Just be like, have a good day and shit. And whatever the fuck you've been, you been wanting to do and you've been doubting yourself on doing it, just do it. Yeah, I text yeah. that shit this morning. I think I, I made somebody day this morning. So yeah, yeah. do that shit. Just tell niggas, whatever you've been second guessing yourself about, don't do that shit no more. Just go do it. For sure. Hell For yeah. sure. That's, that's a good way to leave off. I ain't gonna say no goofy shit, man. Hey, man. <laughs> make sure y'all enjoy the motherfucking uh, weekend, man. This is the first annual summer break motherfucking this the summer like the, this the yeah, appetizer this, of summer nigga like, yeah summer break and shit yeah for sure yeah, dog, yeah the kids ain't going to school no more shit hey I know groceries and motherfucker y'all probably mad they about to be at home cause I am <laughs> you no know, they gotta buy extra food every day like fuck right ass niggas. but uh anyway dog showers A by episode 121 Q Lewis nigga voice of Detroit the podcast MVP man that's motherfucker <laughs>